Oh my God, we're late. Ow. Yes, we are. Hello, no, welcome. <laughs> we are totally not late. For those watching later, uh, welcome to Ghost of Salt Marsh. Um, when we last left off, the group was doing some infiltration in the Sahugan Fortress. Um, they pretty much went through the first floor, freed all the slaves they found on the first floor with the help of a certain blue mage friend named Resnet. Um, might have not passed uh, uh, with a uh, a pleasant note as you guys are like, no, let's torture this fucker. Uh, but that was like out of context. He didn't know. Um, to be fair, I started it. Yeah. I and, helped. <laughs> <laughs> and the um, you guys got into the second un you got just got into the underground part of the fortress when someone cast a loud enough spell that it alerted the entire fortress that they were under Call attack. Up, why don't you, Scotty? Um, after a quick retreat, uh, the group and, and some cunning ideas for how you guys retreated, which I, I really liked, uh, the group eventually gets back to Saltmarsh. And as they do, um, they are told, as I retconned from last session, because uh, I got too excited, they have two weeks now since they have as much of a layout of the map as they as you could get them, along with the size of uh, what they're dealing with, um, to prepare. And they'll be going out then. And they gave you guys the option of if you were going to join in on the pincher attack from the top of the fortress or the bottom of the fortress. And since everyone here except for the halfling uh, is already innately underwater sea creature, um, they decided they're going to join the rest of the sea. Well, yeah, excuse me, rest of the sea folk, and do the pincher attack from below. So, um, a refresher on the plan. Then, as I'm saying things out of order, is the humans, uh, soldiers from the kingdom of Coerland and the city of Saltmarsh, and some help from the um, nearby city of Seedon, which is where. Um, most of the salt marsh actually does all of its. Uh, that's where the courts and jails are at. Um, they will be coming in through the top entrance, like the the group here did, on their infiltration. And um, while they're attacking from the top, um, the big opening down below underwater, um, the tritons, the sea elves, the lokatha, the Penzadar, the pretty much uh, merfolk, I, if I didn't already mention them, all have their own separate uh, groups ready for battle. Um, I would say this two weeks is just waiting for the last bit of those reinforcements from the Azura Sea, um, which is what the coast of Saltmarsh is. Um, we'll be coming in to help. Um, so during that two weeks, I think somebody said they wanted to do something, such as maybe buy different armor. Yeah, Joseph's going to get studded leather instead of leather. Since we have two weeks, they should be able to fit it, I'm assuming, by then. Okay, uh, just change the difference in price. Yep. Charge yourself the difference. You're a merchant. It's fine. Um, I believe also last time Zakold got that note saying that... The merchant that they normally go to for magic items, the tiefling, um, she will not be in town. Uh, as far as you guys know, there was no real news of it. There was no announcement of it. She just seemed to disappear on trains, Oof. along with her boat. The necklace? Yes. Yes, you do. Yay. So, um... Does anyone need to do anything in those two weeks to prepare? Nope. Just uh, get that armor. That's all I needed to do. Joseph's pretty much ready. <clears throat> uh, Abby, you are muted. Yeah. Just, uh, I guess Axel would spend his time, um, I guess, meditating in tide pools and practicing his sword play and lance play because now he's got like a mount friend. So. He's Dude. gonna bring out his his big cone, like cone snail lance 
that he's had sitting in his garage for a while or <laughs> his holes, I guess. We don't need to know what you, what uh, Axel does in his private time, man. Has trade resumed <laughs> enough that uh, I could get some ink? Um, you could get some ink. Um, trade has actually gone to pretty much standstill. Goods have um, been very little as news of battle has spread fast. Yeah. So a lot of mer most merchants are not willing to uh, get between that. Um, but you are an ally and friend and now official resident of Saltmarsh. Um, so, of course, town council would be able to find someone who could get you ink. What kind of ink were you awesome. looking for? Uh, ink to make scrolls, preferably. Trees of his time. Uh, you find out that the only ink available is from a mysterious benefactor, and it is in blue. No, no. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> um. But it is a magical, high-quality ink specifically for scrolls. Okay, let me do math to determine uh, how um, one plus much one of this blue. I can afford. That's all you need. One plus one equals blue. I can give you a thousand gold pieces. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that reminds me. When and why did Katie stop giving Sakal gold? Well, he hasn't wow. no, he, he hasn't made any comments. <laughs> he he hasn't said anything about things he wants to buy recently, so she hasn't really thought about it. I was but, just fucking around, honestly. But that's that's really the reason why. Anytime he mentions like having to pay for things, she's like, Oh here, have gold. <laughs> He never made mention and, of that before. And if you recall from last time, that haunted house that you guys cleared out before has been refurbished. And that is yes. your... We're your, living in it. Yep. Yeah, your home base, so to speak. We have a nice house. It is nice. Katie spends most of her time hmm, down in the caves by the pool, by the water coming in. Okay. I wonder how much progress mm -hmm. I would have made on the alchemy lab and the re re renovated renovated basement where we had to re blow out the hole in the wall. Uh, I can give you two hundred gold toward the renovations. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I've got prestidigitation and magic. completely. <laughs> give me um, give me a proficient intelligence check since you are proficient with alchemy tool. Oh, okay. Uh, I was being sarcastic, but now you got two weeks. Man, we got time. Fair enough. What was the role? A proficient intelligence check. Oh, okay. Yeah. 23. All right. Um, with the 250 gold that you got from your ally, and with your knowledge on what materials you'll need, you're able to set up um, that alchemy lab to be more um, fit to your specific needs. So now you have a uh, a nice alchemy lab. Very much appreciated, Katie. Wait, does that include the whole water tank bed thing? I'll say that includes um, a filtration device for the salt water that removes salt from the water, a um, hundred empty vials, and the tables and such needed for the alchemy sets. Okay, so I still have to go down to the coast to get a good night's rest then. Or down to the I mean, which is luckily just a trip down the corridor. Yeah, it's in the basement. True, but I was thinking the, the Sakal pulling a daredevil move. Just ah, a coffin of yeah. water in the yeah. in the alchemy lab, and he's just every so often just pops out of it like Dracula. I mean, you just okay. need to buy a coffin and fill it with water. That's the practically nothing. Well, a wa a watertight it. coffin. Just a stone coffin. Mm -hmm. huh. You get a stone coffin, it'll be watertight. So a sarcophagus. Stone. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die like royalty. Okay. Just fill it with water and done. And you're right next to the ocean, so you just get a sarcophagus and put on a bucket. <laughs> uh, the dwarves that you would be commissioning this from are like, I we won't be able to get that to you anytime soon. We're kind of busy making blades for the battle that's coming to commence. We should be able to get it to you in the next month, though. And 500 gold for the materials. Do that. I mean, hell, if everybody else gets to sleep in the house, why the hell should I not? 
Right. I'm sorry. I meant to mute for that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, that sounds like something that's it's called appropriate. to be like, Sikald I could probably too. say that. <laughs> it's appropriate. Sakal would say that. Uh, so if they have it, Abby's willing to show out um, 500 gold. Um, if somebody could help with the other 300 so that we can get a make a scroll of revivify. I can give you 300 gold. Katie doesn't need a lot of money, so it's like, here, here, no, no, here, here, just, here. The thought that just jumped into my mind was um, mm. thinking of the whole Final Fantasy remake thing and the ability to toss Gil. <laughs> just yeah. here, whack, son of a bitch, my face. I always think of the Final Fantasy when you go to Cure, you just go like that. You see, in 10, they actually made, is it 10? No, 15. They actually made it seem logical by breaking the vial or drinking the vial in the midst of battle, using it on yourself, not just, you know, chucking it in the air and hoping the mist lands on you. Right. Um, I'm sorry. Side tangent. You are a-okay. Alchemist supplies. Let's see. I still have Alchemist Fire that I haven't used from, I believe, the very first time we came into this house. Ooh. Uh, with your alchemy expertise, you do know that fire actually does burn underwater. Neat. It is at um, much reduced damage, but the fire actually stays lit underwater for a while. AKA, it does half damage, but right. still fire damage underwater. Yeah, definitely. Not can we funny. like during this two week period? Can we like commission somebody to install like a launcher or catapult in the halfling backpack? <laughs> uh, catapult. So it doesn't take any. Mm. Yeah, just like a springboard for her to like launch out of. Go mm. go gadget catapult. Mm. So um, give me an intelligence roll, like investigation, Axel. Oh, not me. So we're oh. going to actually turn Abby into a torpedo. I yeah. like this. You know what, Axel? Mm -hmm. Make it a um, non-proficient mm -hmm. charisma check. Because you're more the charismatic type that would be looking around for this. I sure am. Yeah, thanks. 16. Um, you find out no one in town um, tinkers that level of craft that would be able to make such a thing for you. Hmm. They everyone Where that they reference is somewhere. like a few weeks away. <laughs> you know. That's fair. It's probably more of a big city kind of item. Yeah. I've heard of those siege engineers. I have heard in in a hill in a hill weeks away that there is a village of gnomes that would maybe have a tinkerer that could help you, you know, that kind of thing. Because it's it's Greyhawk. It's very um Oh a gnome. Oh, they're this exotic race from very far away from us. Mm-hmm. I mean, halflings are a little weird to them. Mm -hmm. right. It's it's weird that you're cl so close. I was surprised that there was like, oh, there's halflings nearby Soulmarsh, and I'm like, wow. Well, they they specifically that's up. that's why I said a halfling because they specifically mm -hmm. have a couple uh, okay. villages nearby. Well, I'm, I'm I, I I I am certain that after um, uh, you know after all of this is over and the student will survive, we can find one known problem. Yep, that was a stretch. No, no, they're sure. They're, they're sure. It was better, thank you. <laughs> Where is it at? I think it was in here somewhere. I'm looking for downtime stuff. Can okay, you making a scroll? Oh, um, Ooh, it takes so nine. Uh, uh, hang on. Eight days. Five days for and the third level spell? one, and uh. Mm -hmm. Uh, five days for the third level spell, and then three days uh, because I just spoke with Katie, and I would like to make a second level scroll as well. So how many days does it do first level spells? Eight. Uh, one day. Ooh. Okay. You would need to get the ingredients though, the ink, which would cost half of the price of the spell of the scroll spell. And since you were already looking yeah. up that stuff, uh, how much? Twenty-five would that be? gold. Twenty-five gold for a. Uh, here, I have a chart that I made. I'll send it to the chat. Because mm -hmm. I'm a big old fucking nerd. <laughs> the loan offices of Katie, Katie, and Katie. 
<laughs> and Sapa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's like that guy from the, uh, was it a water bending village? <laughs> Where he's like, <laughs> keeps changing his outfit and saying he's somebody else. <laughs> Oh, that's my brother. Oh, no, that's my crazy brother. <laughs> that's my brother, Shu. He's crazy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Cantrip cost. Oh, boy, I'm going to be spending my time writing scrolls, too. This will be, be like him, him re- rehearsing his, his, his magic power stuff and training, I guess. Um, so he's going to be writing some, some spell scrolls. And I will, we have two weeks of downtime, and I will put together a list of scrolls. Okay. Because he only I... knows first level spells and two cantrips. All right, we'll do this one at a time. We'll, we'll get to a battle eventually, I promise, folks. Um, Abby, I need two Arcana checks. Boys. Bully. For scroll making? Yep. I like to think that while they're all making scrolls or whatever, Katie's like, what you doing? What's that mean? What's that Can mean? I cast enhance ability on myself to make myself smarter? Uh, how long does that last? An hour. It wouldn't last long enough. Okay. Can, can can Katie help? Sure. <laughs> she has a plus in Arcana. Like what? she'd be like, "What's that mean?" Ow. Oh, that's. I think that's this. I don't know. Katie does a lot of stuff. You don't know. Uh, she would do the revivify one first, and that is an eighteen. I like to think that Katie also has no idea how Katie got the ability to do that. <laughs> she just picks up random info. Mm. <laughs> like, where did you learn that? Mm. Mm-hmm. Would, would uh, 18. And then the second one? Um, the second one. <laughs> yep. Hey, I'm a lucky halfling! <laughs> and I got a one! And a two. <laughs> 15. Okay. okay. And then uh, Axel, since you are making me a scroll, Hi. I need an arcana check. So I forgot okay. that I have the lucky feet. So I need one for like every scroll that I'm trying to do? Yes. Great. Be right back. <laughs> uh, how many? Wait, how many scrolls are you trying to make? You got two weeks. Um, like there are twenty-five gold per scroll, and I've got time and money to burn, and I'm trying to like kind of stock up a little bit. Well, you could make m- maybe two scrolls tops. Okay. Well, then in that case, um, that's fine. Uh, the first a first one, level scroll uh, only takes a day. Number of work weeks one. No day. One week. Work weeks. What? All right, then I need life. to check my chart because mine I'm might be way off. You might stuff. not be able to do that. In any case, the first the first check was a sixteen. Okay. Yeah. And then second one. Oh, uh, not twenty. All right, there you go. Uh, you guys make your scrolls in those two weeks. Don't forget, Abby, you had Katie helping, even though she doesn't really know why she knows what she's helping with. She's good at it. <laughs> uh, do you want to brew any potions of healing? What does that take? No, Katie wouldn't do that. <laughs> I mean, I mean, uh, our, oh, shit. our Wait, resident yeah. alchemist. Herp, herp, I'm a dumbass. Uh, yes, please. Uh, okay, so you have two choices here uh, that would be feasible in the time frame. You can make potions of healing. They only take a day each, and they cost 25 gold worth of components. Or you can make Potion of Greater Healing, which takes a whole work week and 100 gold. Hmm. How many the... Sorry, continue. I'll say after. Uh, I just throw things. It's fine. So how many of the Greaters could I make for the party? Just one two, each? Or... You could make two. A total of two. Yes. And Not that's if you pass each. both checks. Not yeah, a two total, each. That's a total, a total of. A total of two. Okay, um, I would much rather... It takes a week to make it. Here's right. the reference for their healing. You can read that. I really like that. Neat. So it would be either the top one or greater. The The top one only takes a day each one. I would rather make a slew of them for each person just in case instead of just having the bare minimum of greater healing. Especially since we've got a Abby. Especially since we have an Abby. Yes. <laughs> I, I forgot the class. I, f- I forgot a lot of things. My brain just decided to go, Herp, derp, what you talk about? I mean, so. she's kind of her own class. She's the class of Abby. Abby she's in a class Abby. all her own. Mm-hmm. Just like our halfling cleric is its own class. So does that mean Abby we'll is say technically it's a, a form? cleric. 
I was about to say, doesn't that mean the name Abby is now uh, synonymous with ammunition because she is and has been inside of a couple? <laughs> I mean, fire the Abby. Abby. <laughs> fire the Abby. <laughs> nice. or, or, yeah, the the Abishay. I don't know. The Abishay. <laughs> Oh, can I uh, can I spend a couple of days uh, making holy water? Okay, holy water. Like I don't know if we're gonna need it right now, but you know, a holy water. I need it in the future. Um, is it's pretty simple. The... Just because there's a certain spell that you can learn as a paladin called ceremony, and you just right. need twenty five gold worth of powdered silver. So right. how many of those would you be willing to make? We don't need to worry about time because that's literally just like ceremony. I think is yeah, it's just you do it. You it's just spell and it's done. It's a, it takes yeah, an hour like... to do. Just yeah, minus it, minus the I, amount of gold. I probably get like one a day. Minus the amount of gold per how many holy water you wanted to make. It's twenty five gold each. All right. Does anybody so, want one? I mean, I always say yes. I'll make one for whoever wants one. Just let me know. I also tend to have a little bit on my so on my person anyway because a couple of my spells require it. Um, Scott, I think what you were thinking of with things requiring a work week is for regular magic items. Spell scrolls are a little different. That's probably Spell scrolls right. are done by days. You're probably right. That would make sense because they're um, they're not permanent. They disappear after they're done. Yeah, it's page 133 in Xanathar's Guide. Because you made me question like several levels for dagger and I'm like, wait, what? Oh, God. Also, are weeks in Greyhawk seven days or ten days? They're seven. Okay. They are in fact 16.3. Also in Xanathar's <laughs> Guide, they are neither. A work week is considered five days. Yep. Because they're weird. Because why make things like easy? Mm -hmm. um, days okay. Easy. Yeah. Sorry. That that's my bad. So what um Axel, what scrolls were you making? Like what level? Um I was gonna make a I was gonna make an arrangement of uh Paladin scrolls and I mean, like, like what level one spells? Or two wounds. First, they're all first level. That's all I've got. Oh, then all of them would have been twenty-five gold each. Yeah, and I guess they also only take a day. My bad, not a week. Cool. Um, so also, the, spend... your cantrip scrolls—they count as if you were a level one caster when you, you scribe them. Oh well, all I know is water, jet, and fireball. So that's not really going anywhere with me. Um, Just hmm. reminding you, they're not uh, level based. No, um, a lot of this is actually being able to kind of uh, sort of keep my spell selection a little bit because paladins can swap out their spell selection during the after a long rest. So I write a couple of smite spells and keep them in my back pocket for free bonus action spell slot for mm -hmm. adding that extra whammy on a big hit. Yep. Um, and then also I've got you know cure wounds that I can pass around like candy. Mm -hmm. um, and then. Just like that. Oh, hey, look at the time. Oh, it's been two weeks. Wow. Um, <laughs> right, right, right back. And actually, I was going to do the same. So I was going to say chat amongst yourselves as okay. uh, you get ready to go. Great. So do we have a plan so for at... going into this? Uh, so yeah, we have a plan of attack. Army. And the plan is attack. That's OK. I think we should support the existing army, make sure none of their numbers fall. and. Um, and try to get as many people as we can out of dangerous situations. Our expertise is going to be that we're probably better trained than they are. I mean, honestly, so this, I'm, we'll probably need Scotty's approval, but I would suspect that based on the like little bit of training that Axel has done with the militia in town, they're probably not like the greatest. Hmm. Like I said, I think our I, situation is going to be getting them out of dangerous ones. Yeah, honestly, the Sahar gonna have more training. I feel like soldiers. we would be better suited for like a small team that goes in and finds like the big guy, the boss. Like how mm -hmm. we went after like that priestess or whatever. Find the spellcasters. Find the guy in charge. Like an elite and... strike force. Sure. Yeah, that is that. exactly the idea. We are we are going to be the, yeah. the advanced mm -hmm. yeah. So we're not necessarily going to be staying with the rest of the army as much as I would love to try and make sure that they don't all die horribly. 
I feel like it would probably save more lives if we go in and try and take out the leader before our guys die. That is correct. And then we can mop up the troops with whatever resources we have left, or we can fall back up. Yeah. Depending right. on how we feel. Try to stabilize as many of our own men that may have fallen during the fight as possible. Yeah. Um, I have a healer's kit. Do, uh, I have two of them, actually. Are any of you capable of using them? Nope. Um, no idea how that works. What does it require? I will spend a couple of days teaching them how to use a healer's kit. <laughs> isn't isn't uh, you just proficient have to... in medicine? Uh, I, don't have, I don't have medicine medicine proficiency, but I have mm -hmm. a plus three of wit whiz, so I'm 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 okay. Uh, Joseph's wisdom modifier is zero. Um, pretty much all a healer's kit does, unless you have the healer feet, uh, it stabilizes you. So if you were at zero, yeah. hit points. that's that was Joseph's idea. If we had oh, some, okay, yeah, we could you, use them to stabilize the, any soldiers that might have fallen on the way. You don't actually need to roll a wisdom check oh, to stabilize awesome. somebody if you're Good. using okay. a healer's kit. Yep. Um, how many? This uses would be does the a uh, 10 uses, and I have two of them, and they're fully prepped. So I will give one to um, Jassal. Um, and the idea would be this is what we use after the fighting has gone right. down. Mm -hmm. Of course. 10 uses, you said? Mm-hmm. All right. Jassal um, offers to give the one you gave him to somebody else and spends 10 gold to get two of his own. Mm. Katie waits for anybody else to take it and then is like... <laughs> I, will, I would offer um, it to Katie because... Due, to, due she... to the Kingdom of Coraland being, uh, being at war, um, healer's uh, kits are kind of hard to come by. However, uh, due to... Um, you guys being in the middle of a battle that involves armies of Coraland uh, defending their lands. Um, the king has a royal decree. King Scott, King Scotty has a royal decree. Um, I still can't that will that's never not be funny. Um, that will never not be funny. <laughs> that healers' kits will be will be at half price to those that would be needing it, going willingly into mm. these battles. Oh, Deep. nice. So I've really only spent five gold instead of ten. I like that. Okay, so I'm going to say that I have two of those because that's badass. And they have ten uses each. Better write that down or I'm completely going to not remember. And then... It's it's the day. You guys head out. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, yeah. so I just I just posted up. Um, everybody gets a holy water. Um, holy butts. I got one extra. No, um, no it's water. I did not that butts. over. The, yeah, har har. Did that over the course of a day, and then uh, everybody gets a cure wound scroll. Mm. And then the last. Well, the last ones on not everybody can are. not everybody can use cure wound scrolls. Only no, but if somebody goes can. down, if somebody goes down, they can use or someone else that can use cure wounds can cast it on them. It's like having your own. Uh, well, yeah, healthcare. but there is no reason for Josol to carry one if he can't cast it. No, but if I go down and you need it and you've used yours, you can just use um, the one that's on my body. Okay, it's that's insurance. valid. Okay, all right. Well, let's make sure we know where each other's potions and. Uh, what pockets everybody's potions and scrolls are in. Yep. Morbid, but valid. Yeah. Um, I believe in prepare. You know they won't they won't be there at the beginning, um, Axel, but you did get word from Oceanus. I'll say he sent a um, messenger fish to you. Mm -hmm. It's this tiny little, mm -hmm. very quick little fish. Sent you a note. Aww. Um, saying that sea elves from the kingdom of Calamin Isara, um, meaning calming tide in Elvish, um, will be oh will become will be sending a squad to assist. Nice. As if you oh. recall, during the uh, town council meeting, the sea elves were not present. That reminds ah. me. Um, during this time frame, how many chances would I have had to go out and find a shark friend? Um, you've had two weeks worth of time. 
ample time. I would hope. What kind of what kind of shark friends are we talking about here? Well, remember way back at the beginning, you were trying to convince me to, um, well, you were giving me the the option of swimming out and finding a shark friend for quote unquote religious reasons because of Sakala. Yeah. Right, that kind of shark friend. All right, give me a survival check as you hunt for sharks. Okay. okay. Oh, good. I'm actually proficient with that. I completely forgot about that skill. 18. Okay. Um, you are seventh level. So let me narrow that down. You do find sharks. But do I find a shark friend? Let me see. A. You follow schools of fish because um, you know that sharks tend to follow them. Um, that's where fruit. that's where sharks tend to. The few times they're in groups is because they're all maybe not fully cooperating with each other, without Sahugan or magical influence. Uh, they are. But they are hunting um, schools of fish, and they'll like go through the schools of fish. And it seems like the you're used to it being a sea creature, but the schools of fish are almost like a sentient blob in a way. Or when a shark goes through it, there's just, just a very clear tunnel um, as the fish try to stay away. Do at any point in time the school of fish look to resemble the shape of a goldfish? No. Shit. If you did, I'll have to say roll initiative. Yeah. I have stats for that. And it's not something you want to fight. I'm just saying, at one point in time, a school of fish that turned into a giant goldfish helped out other fish. Two, two their way people, to their son or something. Two people here have uh, encountered this before in a pre another campaign. It was not friendly. It was not a friend. No. It did not help. It tried to eat us. Oh, so it would be food then. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely food. So, um, uh, one night after we make all our scrolls and everything before dinner, probably like the night before we go, Abby's going to show everybody, like, okay, so this is where I keep my wizard scrolls in this uh, scroll case and my cleric spells in this one. So, looking at everyone in the party that can use both. Um, and uh, she's going to put a little ribbon or something on the scroll of Revivify because uh, Axel can cast that. He would have to make a um, check, I think. But if, God forbid, the worst happens, it's there. And the diamonds are everything are already like embedded in the ink, so you don't need to spend any diamonds. It's just good to go. Hopefully... <laughs> Just in case. Yeah, what was that? Your mic broke up a lot there. I think what I can do is maybe one of the you know, not now. Dude, I'm sorry. It sounds like you're underwater. Yeah, you need to come up. <laughs> yeah. You need to surface, man. I'm on the call, but I'm not going to this video. Okay. What? I said he, I think he's going to switch his audio to so to his phone, maybe or something. Because all oh. I heard was bubble, bubble, bubble. Yeah, I think your Bluetooth's battery was dying or something. I, I'm not sure what that was. Um, so you see two sharks on the hunt. The cold. They are ignoring you completely. Uh, you know that sharks, uh, surface dwellers, tend to fear sharks, but sharks are uh, not as aggressive as they like to fear, uh, especially if you're bigger than them and you're not bleeding. So not. you know that the sharks would pretty much ignore you unless you do something otherwise. I would chant a quick prayer in the name of Sakala to try and can't get eggs, to try and fish for the sharks. All right. Okay. Um, so Definitely. you're casting animal friendship with your innate racial thing. Yes. Right? 
All right, so they need to make a saving throw against that. I think it's wisdom. Um, what's the spell save if wisdom is your spell casting modifier? So that would be eight plus your proficiency bonus plus um, whatever your wisdom is, Sage. Mm -hmm. So 15, I think. No, 13. I'm sorry. Okay. And animal friendship. Is it only on one spell? No, yeah, it's one on, creature. One creature is what I meant to say. Yeah, it's only on one creature. Yes. So you sing that. And first shark continues to ignore you. But the second one turns towards you and looks at you. An acknowledgement. Neat. I didn't know that's what a shark sounded like. Whose no, cat was that? Oh my god! Oh, he's hard to see down there. I don't think no one can see it on, no. on Zoom. No, mm -mm. that was so loud, so cute. No, I still can't see him. Oh, I see him. No, by the door. He wants. Inside. He wants me to open the door, but he also wants me to uh, close the door. Yeah, he wants to go Standard. to the other outside the room. Standard cat. He wants to be in Is the middle of the doorway. Is it any wonder that Schrodinger picked cat as the depiction of quantum physics? Yes. <laughs> yes, cats are actually a very good use in quantum, explaining quantum mechanics. Right. So, um, they are always in a superposition. Now that you're not underwater, what were you trying to say, Jesse? <laughs> oh, I was going to ask if at some point in the future that Abby could make one of those revivify skulls for him to use in case of emergencies, but not now. Yeah, if we get lots more money, maybe. But yeah, I can I can put the bill for some of that. I have funds. This shark, it's a gold, is mm -hmm. charmed to you. Yay, male or female? And you know what? I'll roll for it. Male. Okay, Bruce, let's go. You know, it's not smart enough to acknowledge that, but it definitely treats you as an ally and follows. Works for me. Mm. Bruce. Yes. It has one <laughs> intelligence. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's as smart as a house cat. Buddy. No, a house cat's two intelligence. No. Actually, in D&D, &D, a house cat is one intelligence. Really? Mm-hmm. A dog cat. is two intelligence. That's funny. Because uh, you can teach a dog tricks. Most cats, you, you're lucky they listen to you. <laughs> that's true. Like, no, I can't, cat, and they're just like, whatever. A cat has an intelligence of three, man. God really? damn Oh, they upped it. Yeah. Okay. They also, my it. stupid self, also my stupid self literally tried to type dog and wrote dag instead. <laughs> that's the dag. name of my, mm. yeah, that's the name of my, uh. Wow, uh, daggers hard. and dogs have really oh, high intelligence. Um, it's like 18. Oh, wait, that's dagger. All right, uh, so, dogs so, also have an intelligence of three. So oh, it's a call. Okay. You can cast animal friendship on sharks specifically at will. But remember, you can only have one shark under the spell at a time, and it and it only lasts for twenty four hours. Well, I was, with at will, I mean, I'm just keep, gonna you I'm can just keep gonna casting say, it, but I'm just gonna say this shark is now your ally until you see otherwise. Yeah, no, that that's exactly what I want. I wanted Bruce the shark to be in in the party. <laughs> it's charmed. Do you do have your innate shark telepathy? So you were able to communicate with it via telepathy. Ooh, ooh, what does he say? <laughs> now he knows his name is Bruce. <laughs> is, that what you, uh, is that what you ask Bruce? No, no. I imagine that if you asked the shark anything, it would sound a lot like Steve the monkey from Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Hungry gummy bears. Steve! <laughs> Just say random one word things. <laughs> Do you ask anything from him? No, we? no, we, we need to get going on this campaign. Well, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I just needed the shark companion. All right. Bruce joins the party. It's a smash letter. Anyway, um, back on topic. It's the day. Everybody's serious because it's war. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh um, as you guys are getting ready for this, um, 
I will say the town council has given you guys on on lease two potions each. And they're pretty much on lease as in if you don't use them, you need to give them back after the battle. Um, I make sure to have the exact kind of empty bottles, or I'll collect the ones other people use just in case I don't use mine. Mm. <laughs> just heads up. <laughs> when did you uh, go chaotic evil? I mean, I'm not evil. Just, just chaotic. Probably gonna do the same thing. Uh, <laughs> I'd expect it from you. Just all fist bump. <laughs> bump. Boom. <laughs> Just sounds uh, like hmm, free potions. Thanks. Oh, you have to give them back after the battle. I'll yeah. use them. <laughs> Are they like tasers and they've got like tag confetti when you open the bottle wrap? What? I mean, like. <laughs> no, I doubt it. Um, you the two potions that each of you are given. One appears to be an empty vial, but as you hold it, it clearly has weight to it. The second one appears to be filled with a mist, almost like a. Um, a misty cloud, a frog, or like a heavy fog that seems to be happening. Oh, okay. And if they I tell open you it, will it that come out? no, you open it and it stays in there. It acts like a liquid. Uh, it's like dry ice smoke or something. Um, oh, cool. Potion of invisibility and a potion of gaseous form. To each yeah. of you. As well as the two healing. Well, the two healing is from you guys. That wasn't from right the council. Um, oh, and how long are these up? Invisibility, I think, is an hour. Both are an hour. Oh wow! Okay. Cool. Um, until you attack something with um invisibility. Right. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about the potions gaseous form. Like it would make a really handy bug out bottle. Yeah, yeah. you oh, can't yeah. do both at I, the same time. That's one hundred percent the plan. Yep. Start to get low on HP before you drop gaseous form. You but, can um, or cannot do both at the same time. You can't. Cannot. Do both. Because when you're invisible, if you use an item, you would become visible again. Because you and, technically um, counts as using an item. And gaseous form, you can't really drink anything when you're gaseous form. Invisibility doesn't work that way anymore. Invisibility only ends if you... Um, Attack an enemy? It ends for a target that attacks or casts a spell. So using an item or opening a door or none oh, of that stuff would trigger it. So you could technically yeah. use both, but why would you is the question. Yeah. Why would you want to be an invisible So gas? you could become potion of air form and not also, get detected by anybody. Also, like, just... there's a chance when you mix potions that sometimes your belly could explode. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Missability. I'm willing to try this. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you can only try it once. <laughs> if you get it wrong, it only fails once. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it after that. Um, the... It's not the fall that kills you, it's the sudden stop at the end. I have that falling thing that monks do. The fall doesn't kill me. <laughs> the fall won't kill you regardless. <laughs> the I resident... had to change that in my Retroverse game because so many people were jumping off of buildings. <laughs> How resident... dare you? No. The resident alchemist of your party would know that drinking two potions at the same time might be a bad idea. Okay. When combined, they might have some effects. That could be helpful or not helpful, or just it would be unexpected in general. I'm all for the unexpected. If we survive this, then you can try it. You mean unexpected, like growing hair in um, places, or unexpected, like exploding? The latter. Oh. Also, um, so, um, Josol and Axel, both of you have spells, but you don't get like a whole lot of them every day, right? Very small. Um, yeah, I have only, um, I think, three charges for my spells that I get from my thing. And I you, only get six charges for the spells that I learn. If you um, don't lose it, I don't know if either of you guys have pierced ears. I do have this really cool magical earring that lets you get one spell slot back a day. You have to tune to it, so you got to take a while to like spend with it and study it and all. Wasn't that the pro but, we got? Yes, yeah, I already have a pearl that does the same thing. Oh, it's I didn't know that. Here. Yeah, so uh, I'm that probably going to get it in that regard, but you could give it to Joe. my ears are technically pierced. Oh, sweet. Then I'll give it to Joe Solden, because I feel like you could make more use of it than me, because I am a walking library right now. 
Cool. Pearl of Power? Abby is, is scared going? of letting you guys die. Yes, Pearl of Power. Um, that's third level and lower, right? Third level or lower, or if you don't have third level spell slots, then whatever is the next highest that you do have. All right, both cats went out. Oh, shut sure, up, big cat. I can't tell whether that was the door squeaking or the cat. That was yeah. probably both. <laughs> so That's okay. In five seconds, he'll have to pause to let them back in. That's mm. true, yeah. No, I'm not going to let him in. Let's do this. Yay. Yay, on to war. Mm. You guys start heading there. Um, you join the underwater crew, and they all just swim. Um, I'll say, for the sake of not tiring you guys out, um, they do provide you a giant seahorse as mount. Yay! Can I keep it? We No. Says the uh, Triton. Can my Whoa. shark swim just as fast? Your your shark? My your shark, shark probably swims faster. Yeah. Sharks are fast as fuck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If that's the case, then I'll just hold on to the side of the shark. I don't need a seahorse. Now I'm, what, now what I'm kind curious of about their... Now I'm curious about their speeds. Yeah, yeah which the brand of shark was it? Giant shark, hunter, or reef? Hunter shark. <laughs> giant shark, you're funny. No, I'm the not giant saying that. shark. That would be like... That's okay. Jaws. Yeah. That's reef Jaws. or hunter? Mm -hmm. Reef or hunter? Hunter. Okay. Uh, 40 feet. 40 feet. Yeah. Yep. I'm it. faster than your shark! <laughs> so, question. Nice. If, if Sakald's not riding his giant seahorse... Are they no, too you big? don't get two. Are they shh, 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 <laughs> too big for Katie to ride with one foot on one saddle and one foot on the other astride two of them? Oh my god. This is very awkward. <laughs> Give me a dex Scott's check. Face. Give me a dex check. Just like, I mean, right. I guess we were going to do war, but I guess we're doing uh, like circus tricks. All right, let's do it. No, no this we're... is how Katie goes into war, okay? No, this is just, we're, we're Aquaman now. We're just doing Aquaman stuff. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Well, I... I guess we're all underwater people, uh, so I can't really call dibs on that. Right. So, you know, I'm looking at a, a 10 <laughs> on a dex check. A 10. Okay, that lasts Your for maybe... dice rolls are abysmal. That lasts for maybe five minutes, but the currents underwater do not agree with you. I'm happy with that. <laughs> I'm just imagining, like, yeah, this is awesome! Oh! And just flounders <laughs> behind the party. No, 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 no. Jellyfish to the face and she trips. Mm. <laughs> the one striped thing in the ocean goes. Uh huh. A random kelp leaf just. <laughs> um, you guys uh, get there with no problems. Um, when they get within relative distance. Distance where it might become a visibility or noise issue with the Suhugan knowing you're there. Um, they do say that uh, we will we will go in after you do, or you're going to be the strike force. That's why you, we gave you those potions. Um, before we go in, uh, Abby would like to take ten minutes to cast comprehend languages. As a ritual, so that we can, I can understand what they're saying when they're sending, uh, doing their battle orders and shit. All right. Um, the they would tell you go after their leaders. If you can take out their leaders, it'll make it much easier for us. That's the plan. So, are we thinking maybe use the potions of invisibility to infiltrate and take out the leader, and then work our way out from the inside? That might be wise, yeah. I think this sounds like a very good idea. We found that small bed of kelp not too far into the entrance of where we're heading that led further indoors. We just didn't take the door. Can you teleport us inside now that you have been in already and we can we can move in from there? Not down to the direction that we're looking for, no, because I haven't been under the water. We just hit that one corridor that we then mm. broke. But you did peer into the entranceway that you guys are heading to right now. That one that there had like is, over 60 some Sahugan. Just there like is one downside of invisibility, so called. Bruce won't be invisible. Then again, they might think Bruce is one of theirs. 
So, Cole, do you know that uh, Bruce might be uh, an issue because all Sahugan have that trait? He might be battling for control of Bruce. Well, but once the spell is cast, he's his until it breaks. Right? Would multiple charms cause some sort of like whichever weird, charm, whichever off? charm was greater on it? That's what oh, I yeah. if they're the same, because technically it's a racial trait, so yeah. the same's the same either way. But it's so the DC, the DC is different, different yeah. depending on your wisdom. Mm. Maybe don't get too close to a cleric then. <laughs> That's Maybe don't get close to any to who them. They can do it racially. It doesn't have to be a casting thing. Yeah, but if none I of them mean, are cleric, they'll what are the have odds wisdom high of... enough to do anything against well, it. Well, no, I wouldn't be able to. That said, though, it's it's worth a shot. And even if even if it does get turned against us, you can just try and get it back, or we can. I hate to say it, we can smack him until he's unconscious. Um, and it's another couple of seconds that they're focusing on something that's not murdering us. It is stealth. Stealth is dexterity. What's his dex? Shit. Uh, your hunting shark, I think, is proficient in stealth. If not that, then definitely percent. Oh, I can send you the uh, stats for the hunter shark. I, I, I'm looking at it now. I sent him a link. Yeah. The hunter shark isn't proficient in stealth. It has oh, a plus darn. one. It's got proficiency in perception. Not that it's good at it, but. <laughs> but what you would think it'd be pretty good at it, since they can smell blood in the water at two miles. As you're coming. Uh, in... It has a blood frenzy ability. It's not quite the same. As you're coming in from the backside of the fortress. Because if you remember, it was like a, it's almost like a huge spire, and even underwater, it's got that circular motion. And I think you guys would come in from the front, but underwater, and then you're going to go around the back instead of being right. visible really long ways. Right, um, we'll save the invisibility for as long as possible. Since Axel has the highest passive perception, he's the first one to notice. On the opposite end, under underwater here, when you guys are swimming up and you guys are... Um, Going in, um, you see a passage, a little sea cave. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but it looks like a natural formation that leads further inwards hmm. from the backside of the fortress. Let's go invisible and check that out. Okay. Uh, well, we don't need to go invisible quite yet. I would say let's save that if we can, if we can just rely on like, you know, regular old normal stealth. Obviously me and Axel will stay behind. I'm yeah. um, going to tap um, Jusol and give you guidance. Yay. And say be careful because your dice rolls are, are poop. Um, for one minute or until I lose concentration, you can add 1d4 to any ability. So basically skill check. Uh, that you make of your choice. I'm sorry, are you telling someone else their dice rolls are crap? Okay, yeah. all right. They are, but like... Are. His aren't as bad as mine, but they're not great. Okay, that's fair. Um, well, I thank you very much for that. Um, my spell check is 31. Holy fuck nuggets. Okay, what did everybody else get? Oh shit, I didn't realize we were rolling still. I mean, you can stay behind with me in the tin, the other tin can. No, I'd rather go with them just in case. This includes your shark, then, since so your shark's going with you. Okay, so I'll roll for both of us. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's 24 for me. And double checking. Very loudly, the tin can attempts to hide in the <laughs> wherever we are and is like, this is why I didn't follow you guys. Okay, I have no mm -hmm. idea where they went. You guys are at about 100 feet underwater currently. So for his dex is just a plus one. If I rolled a 16 on the die, that's a 17 for the stealth, yes? Correct. Sweet. So Bruce got 17. All right. I got a 21. The 17 was the lowest, it sounds like. Right? 
Yeah, because Josol was over thirty. What was it? Is Abby actually joining them, or have you? Uh, no, that boss? was that was that was a joke of like it makes sense that she would hide wherever we are, but like I'm terrible at it, and I rolled a two. <laughs> okay. So I got a one. <laughs> um, there's very muffled sounds of metal on metal under one earth. Mm-hmm. The rest of you sneak in. Those of you going in. Yep. Sneaky, sneaky. This passage opens into a small chamber. On the opposite side, another passage leads out of the room. Uh, as you go in through this, this passage, and it opens up into this little room, um, you notice the wall is all crumpled up and all messed up. And inside here, in this very small almost like a cell. It's a very small room. Maybe 15 by 15 foot room. Um, the water is fouled by a rotting corpse of a large sea serpent. An eel. A giant sea eel. A uh, stone slab along the wall that you guys came into lies askewed and partially broken on the unfinished floor. Does this seem to connect into anything, or just a little cave? Uh, yeah, on the opposite end, you see there is uh, a door. It is a jail door. Ooh. Um, you can see there are manticles, iron, leg irons, etc. on some of the walls here in this tiny room. Um, just on the other side of that jail door, there are Sahugan. Like imprisoned? No. Seems to be like into a bigger room. Was a prison. Like you, you went like... in through like the back of a jail. Oh, so, God. and you're looking Didn't... in further into the jail. Hmm. Oh, so someone broke out of their prison. Mm -hmm. Or an eel tunneled in one of the two. Or somebody drank two different potions of two different effects and turned into an eel and died. <laughs> For those watching, I have like an aura starting, so my vision is wibbly. Ooh. I'm okay. still listening though. Those of you that understand Aquin um, can hear someone going saying, No, please. <laughs> and you hear like a random like scratches every once in a while and some Sahukin laughing and stuff. That Out, was the just best outside. form of blubbering I've ever heard there, Scotty. Yeah, it's it's a very it has a weird accent on it in Auckland. No, I just meant the whole bubbly and blabbering and I'll shut up now. Yeah, uh, since all of you got so high in your stealth checks, you peek through the bars and the jail door to look at the other side, and you see three Sahugan torturing a Lokatha. Hmm. His, his fins are chained to the wall outside, um, and they seem to be taking off a scale one at a time on him. Oh, no. Mm. Mm. Does this jail door appear to be locked? Uh... It looks like it could be opened easily by lifting the bronze bar on it. Hmm. There's no key. It's just barred. Oh. I, uh... From the outside of where you guys are at. But those of you that are dexterous enough could get your arms through and try to lift the bar off. And all the Suhukan like guards look distracted. It's a, it's a bronze bar. So it's not, it's not light. How much room is there in that room that they're in? Uh, quite a bit, really. Um, the roomy from room. what you can see, there is a doorway that leads further into a hallway about 20 feet away from where you guys are at. Hmm. But it seems like um, that's like the width of it, but the length of it is a much bigger room. It's almost like your jail is the middle cell, from what mm. you can tell. Hmm. And, and um, Sakhalt would know, because they're speaking in Suhugan, uh, seems purposely. 
this little cat that probably doesn't know what they're saying. But they say, oh, <laughs> let's see if this one has a gold scale on it. <laughs> yeah, generic evil stuff. And uh, use their claws to just pull off another one. And he whimpers in pain. Half his scales are missing at this point. Um... He's very loud, and so are they. You think you, if you guys were uh, careful enough, you could probably unbar this door and open it without them hearing it. But then do we attack them? Do we try to stealth them and find the leader? We, should we save not, him, no matter we what. Not, we should not reveal mm -hmm. our position so early. Yeah. If, yeah, if you're going to save this guy, probably you can do it as silently as possible. Otherwise, you're just blowing the whole thing. Exactly. And if the we... Whale, the whales. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if we get to the big bad, then anybody that's not currently doing something rather important would immediately come to that defense anyways. So we'd effectively be distracting them, pulling them away mm. without blowing our stealth until the, the time is right. Mm. It's not the greatest solution considering we're leaving somebody behind to be tortured, but we kind of have more important things to go on this time. Yeah. I'm, I kind of want to kill them. Like now. Yeah, no. We have to do it later, or else there... we're blowing this entire operation, including the other army. What if I just attack them with giant octopus? What What do you think we should do with this fish when we're done with him? We should feed him to the sea lion we captured. <laughs> oh, we have to kill them. They're speaking in Sahugan. So Yeah, I'm not... Oh, boo. <laughs> Wait a minute, did he just say sea lion? I'm yeah. not there. Yeah, you're not no, there, but I, I, I had the exact there, thought. But I didn't know what they're saying because I don't speak fish. Yeah. Um, I do it, I'm not there. Um, I do, I am there, and I'm <laughs> contemplating on how much of this information I need to share, considering one of us already has a murder boner on. Um, so who can have a very weird um, language? So Aquin sounds more like bubbling of water in general in terms of how it, the language sounds when it's spoken. However, Sahugan has more like a hissing, clicking sound in their speech. Oh, so we sound like dolphins. Lovely. But more sinister. sinister. They're dolphins. But Flipper more with sinister. <laughs> okay, so I would make mention to the soul that they just made mention of a sea lion being here. Just so looks over at you when you say that, and his eyes narrow. Uh, he looks over at the three Sahagan, looks over at you and Abby, and then goes, I'm not here. Continue our mission. Sorry, you and uh, Katie. Katie. Why should we feed this one to the sea lion? He looks tasty. And one of the Sahagan actually takes a bite out of him as he <gasps> screams nope. in pain. We have to help him. We have to help him. We have we to help him. We can't help him. We have a much larger mission going on. If we can finish, if we can get to the end point on that, it will pull the guards away from him. So it's let's not, not last. let's like, not screw around here and actually get on with the mission so we can save his ass. As he takes a bite, he just spits out the chunk of meat that he ate and he says, mm, tough. I don't like it. Good. Fine. We'll, we'll feed it to the lion. Yeah. Does he mission? still look alive? Uh, I'm rolling for damage. Give me a sec. Mission first. Mission failed. His skin off. Mission Prisoners. failed. We'll get him next time. Snake. Snake! Uh, sorry. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. I think he's still alive. What if you all go on mission and I'm going to handle these guys? Oh, yeah. Splitting up the party works so well. Mm -hmm. Especially in, you know, say, episode one. I'll, yeah. I'll catch up. No. He He's alive, but very weary. Main point, he's still alive. They're taking him to the sea line, which probably won't eat it outright. At this point, I would say he is ble he is bleeding a bit, and he looks like he's going to faint. Yeah, we really need to get on with the mission. We'll pull uh, the guards later. We'll save the prisoner. We need Can to I use old. my mage hand to lift that bronze bar up? Yes. All right, use my ranged ledger domain to use my ranged mage hand to move the bar and pick it up. And give then me, open the door. Give me a sleight of hand for how quietly you do it. 
Don't roll a one. Don't roll a one. Don't roll a one. Hey, I really should have been using these dice a while ago. Oh, um, wow. This d20 only has ones on every side. Weird. <laughs> That's all the rest of the d20 I have. How did you know? Uh, <laughs> 19 of... ones and a 20. I'm really wishing you hadn't already used guidance. Man. That's nice. Uh, 21? Holy shit. Yeah, 21. Never mind. I rolled 13, sorry. You guys don't even notice that Jasol has moved the bar until it's like already off the hinges and it's slowly descending down to the ground quietly. Nice. Oh, wait. Uh, don't we need to go back and get some people? Mm-hmm. And, I'll... The, and the door is wait. like, your mage hand also made it like, no yeah, noise. no. Let's do this. Katie, you go mm -hmm. back and get the others. I don't want to go back and get the others. I want to go in there and help that guy. Katie, go and get the, the others so we can have a full party. Regardless if we're saving the, the prisoner or not, we need everybody else so here. The Lakatha says an awkward... <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Which is what? It's blubbering. Oh, blub. It's just blub, blub. Yeah. Okay, it's time to stop screwing around. Katie, go get the rest of the party. We need to get this started now. The longer we delay, the longer you delay, the more he gets so eaten. I'm picturing like a hallway here and then like a room to the left. Is that what I'm looking at? Or is it the room to the right and the hallway to the left? I'm an idiot. I'm trying to figure out where we got hallway and room here. I just had a grand idea. Okay, but, this is oh, going to look kind of weird. Yeah, but oh, let's do this. You, come on, camera. You are here. The mm -hmm. tunnel you took was there. Got it. The torturing, we'll say, is like over here somewhere. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's like a hallway that leads further out that way. And you think there are more cells. Got it. Do we see any cells okay. across at an angle, angle uh, forward left from where we're at? Uh, as you peek your head through, I'm going to flip the map upside down so I have your perspective. Uh, you look to your left. And to your left, uh, you don't. You see there are two cells. And to your right, you see there are two cells, not including the one that you're in. So five total. They're okay. all on the same wall that you're on. Got it. Hmm. How far away are Abby and Axel from the rest of the group at this point? Uh, How far back? Minutes. A gazillion miles. A few minutes? With the, rest of, with the rest of the troops. Okay, fine. Out of sight and sound of the, the fortress. Okay, fine. If you're not willing to go, you stay here. This is the deal. I'll send Bruce. He'll get them. Bring them over here, but you're not moving. We cannot risk this entire operation for one prisoner. Uh, immediately sure to your... Visibility potions. Immediately to your right. Just all you hear a very angry growl from the cage next to you. A familiar angry growl? Yes. Or just an angry growl? Oh, something about it's familiar. I kind of, if there's a way with my 31 stealth check to peek in <laughs> around over to the cage and look to see if it's borky. Inside. The in your head through the bars. Inside. <clears throat> Angry snarls arise from the cell, and inside an angered sea lion roars and thrashes in its confined space. Is it Borky? Uh, you're not sure. This one's a lot thinner than Borky. Mm. Does it seem to recognize me? It probably doesn't even see you. Yeah. It does not seem to see you. Okay. Um, well, I kind of used my ranged ledger, uh, rage ledger domain to open the cell. Brilliant. Let the sea lion take care of the guard. Oh, brilliant. Another another sleight of hand check. Okay. Every one of these cells is barred by a bronze bar. Yep. Nicole looks over at Katie like, will this do, Princess? Um 27. <laughs> All right. As you're doing that, um, one of the Sahugan turns just catches you on the peripheral of his eyes since you moved out of the cage. He got you don't have any cover. Oh. And then that's when he it's like, oh, oh, we got intruders. And he like pulls a spear and everyone needs to roll initiative. God yes. damn it. That's ah. so happy. 
right as that happens, I like to think your mating like turns off and the bar is just like clunk clunk. Yeah. And it's unlocked. It's so, unlocked. Mm -hmm. Okay. During that time frame, getting Bruce to go get the rest of the party, how far back are they? <laughs> we'll be there in a year. Actually, we were moving at half speed because we're stealth and he said minutes away, so they're probably really only a round or two. Also, I'm fast as fuck underwater. Yeah. I forgot so that. maybe only a half a round for Abby. We'll see. <laughs> Let's got to think about the uh, actual distance. Yeah, yes, trigonometry to do since we're dealing with three-dimensional spaces. So, Jasol, what's your initiative? My initiative is... Do, 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 uh, numbers, 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 numbers. Yeah, that's usually what initiative is. 14. Wow, the same as last session. Axel, yeah. what's yours? Consistency. Oh, you don't have a microphone in right now, right? He posted, oh, no, he posted it to me. 17. 17, okay. Not bad. Sorry, saw that at the last second. Sorry, Jesse. So cool. No, it was my fault. I didn't change the thought focus. I got an 18. Ooh. Woohoo. And what did Sakult get? 15. Katie? 20. Please, please to all. Damn, I was hoping you got a 16. We have, 14, we have 14, 15, 17, 18. Katie is the one sent that you went back to get everybody, right? No, Bruce went back. Yeah. The Bruce. deal was she stayed where we were, and I sent Bruce to go get the party. Okay. Katie, um, I... you're first. Ooh, me? So me? there's three of them? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All mm. easily within swimming range. All easily within swimming range. I'm going to swim at the one that took a bite out of the little fellow. Okay. And I'm going to punch him. Oh. Actually, you know, he really pissed me off. I'm going to stab him. <gasps> Shmagical short sword. Shmagical. <laughs> Shmagical. All right. <laughs> swim up. Attack him. Uh, first attack. God, I can't see. Uh, 12 versus AC. Um, hmm. What weapon was that again? Uh, plus one magical short sword. You go to stab with your short sword. Oh. Um, and it seems out of pure luck as it did not notice you. It only noticed a soul. So they were surprised to you. Do I get to roll with advantage? Um, sure. Nice. Uh, ooh, that's a 17 total. Okay. Um, so you stab. You stab. Stab. All mm -hmm. right. So I stab. I do six plus 10 points of piercing damage with my first attack. Ooh. Okay. Um, let's see. Looks then... over at you surprised. Along with his other friends. Uh, I want it to roll a saving throw, a wisdom save, because uh, I'm going to use a key point to do a stunning strike. That's a wisdom save? Nice. I believe it is. Con? Yeah. yeah. Con. Huh. Sorry, I, I, play a, I play a, a monk. Con! <laughs> Con! It's funny because it's, it's still con. the same. Uh, three. A three? Yeah. Oh, he's stunned. Yep. Uh, so on my second attack, I get advantage again. Mm -hmm. And he's stunned till the end of my next turn. Mm -hmm. All right. Advantage. Stabby, stabby. Ooh. Uh, with advantage, that is a 24 to stab. Yep, that stabs. Stab. And that is seven points of piercing damage with my magic short sword. Okay. And I say, how do you like a bite taken out of you? But you haven't bit him yet. I hit him twice. But you didn't bite him. Well, you know, it, the sword bites. Okay, it's a cult. It's and that's a thing. Katie's, and that's Katie's turn? That's how she ends her turn. It's a cult. Uh, well, do I have a bonus action? If I have a bonus action... You know what? No, I'm I'm good. That's That's good. Meanwhile, we go way over to where Abby's at. I hope they're not being really stupid and like making a bunch of ruckus without us. No, Bruce the shark appears. Well, 
Oh, that's a bad sign. And I don't it, think it, you should it, be alone. And it's like, and it's like, looks at you, and it looks back that way, and it looks at you, and it swims back that way. Good boy. Let's uh, die. Follow. We're just like Bork. <laughs> I follow, and when I say follow, I mean zoom past no. the shark. No, no, no. I've got it. Bruce swims up, and he sounds like Flipper for a few seconds, <laughs> and then he turns around and swims back. I, I just, I just <laughs> imagined like. Uh, Bruce swimming up and doing like the nose boop aggressively of like I need something that my dog does. (laughs) That would be terrifying from a hunter shark. (laughs) Especially to Abby who he could swallow with a single foot. It's fine. I've been partially eaten by a shark before. It's cool. It has happened in this campaign. (laughs) Wait, was this this character? No, I don't think I've been eaten by a shark in this. No, No, I don't think it was this campaign. What about that kraken that we fought? So you're gonna you're gonna follow Bruce back. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bonus action cast surf so I can move 15 feet faster. Okay. And you're right after her, so I'll say both of you at the, since you're both in the yeah. same area. Basically, just like oh shit, we're on. Okay. Actually, wait. And what's I'll your innate swim off. speed? Uh, thirty. If that's the case, you could save a spell slot and just ride Bruce. Just grab onto his fin. She's Thanks. got the cape. Okay, that'll work. He's what? That's fine. I'll he's take not, the shark. He's not that big, but I'll say with, with, with a will, there's a way. And he pulls the fish man, tall fish man in full plate. Well, I do have the... Uh, hold on, I've got the seahorse. I've got the giant seahorse, right? Unless it's not big enough for everybody. <laughs> Where's the sound coming from underwater? <laughs> Bruce has got 18 strength. Shouldn't he be able to pull Axel without Jesus. a problem? I would say so. I yeah, rolled a strength course. check. He did fine. Oh, okay. Okay, then I'll just take the shark. It's fine. I, yeah. I imagine that big ass, big ass seahorse is going to get in the way in the tight like, little cave. Like he's doing the shark swimming animation, but now he's like doing it at like yeah. double the speed loop <laughs> oh, as he's pulling you. Okay, so then I'll take the shark and save myself. Mm. Thanks, Bruce. All right. Well, turn the hydraulics up. You will. You two will be there in two rounds. Okay. That's dashing. Um. The rest of the group, I believe, the cult is next. Well, this has already started. Um, I don't know if Abby froze that. Oh, okay, I wasn't sure if you froze that way. I'm good. I'm just feeling real shit. Okay, I'm sorry. You're fine. Let's let's upcast ice knife. And of course, bending it around Abby, or pff, Abby, uh, Katie, and the prisoner. I'm assuming it'll hit all three of them. Yep. Okay. So the one that she just stabbed, I'm going to hit with the needle. All right. What'd you roll to hit? I'm rolling that now. That would be a 32 to hit. A 32? I think so. Nope. Nope. I'm sorry. Um, 26. Where's my math? I don't know, but you still hit. Yes. Math is good as I do. No, don't. No, Man. that was... I, I math very badly. <laughs> I know, that's the point. I don't <laughs> math nearly as well as you do, apparently. 32. What's your Anyways. spell save? Uh, spell save is 15. Okay, one passed on the dex save. The one that I'm hitting with the knife? Nope. Oh, oh that works. So, that would be... An eight for the piercing. Okay. And then after it pierces him, it explodes. Yep. And I upcast it by two levels. So 46 gives me 10, 15, 18 freezing damage. Wow. All right. The water around it freezes for just a moment. Kind of time turns into like a slushy, weird consistency. Um, and then dissipates after your turn. Cool. Your soul. Mm, oh. Um, are they all still alive? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Well, who looks mostly almost dead? Uh, the one Katie was fighting that also had an ice knife in it that exploded. The prisoner. Yeah. And who looks next to dead other than that? The prisoner. Okay, I'm not going to kill him. Um, 
and saved Katie the trouble. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Katie. I'll shut up now. You know what? We got freebies, so. Oh, actually. And they all already know I'm here, correct? Yeah, they spotted you. Okay. So I won't get sneak attack from any of them. Um, unless I run in and attack the same one Katie's attacking. Is there a gong in this room? Nope. Is there a horn in this room? Nope. Is there some sort of loud explosive device that makes noise to alert the rest of the prison that we're in this room killing people? Yo. Besides, besides the cult. No. Besides the cult. Okay. Which we know he's not going to do it this time, so we're good. <laughs> you don't know that. Well, we hope he doesn't. You do hope it this that. Time. You don't yeah. know that. That's true. Um, well, then Jasol for his turn uh, is going to move in to where all the action's at and uh, give a healing potion to the prisoner. Like, put in his, pour a healing potion in his mouth. Okay. Um, he's just like kind of floating there, and then like, you give it to him, and he's like, uh. No, I, I open it and put it in his mouth. Oh, like well, he still he still smiles, right. <laughs> even as he's like, uh, "Thank you," or sorry, "Thank you." I grab the chunk that was like bit off of him and put it back, and then give him the healing potion, kind of as one action. This is a yeah, sure. In hopes of gluing it back together. Sure, we'll we'll allow it. Because just soul doesn't know how magic works. Um, this <laughs> like is just that. a normal potion healing. Healing magic. Uh, I don't know. This is a standard potion healing, correct? Yeah. One of the ones the army gave us. Uh, all right, he heals seven from it, as I use that little Yay. potion healing thing. And he looks better. That bite wound is almost fully healed. Cool. And the chunk's not missing now. Yep. Yeah. Glued it back so on. Put the chunk back. All right. Um, that was your move and your action. Yeah, yep, I don't think I have anything I can do as a bonus action. Cunning, I don't think any of my action. spells. You're are... a rogue. You can mm. hide. You can disengage. You can hide behind the prisoner. Um, no, I had a thirty-one hide, and they immediately saw me with their passive. So uh, oh. we're making. Well, a you were standing in an empty room with nothing to hide behind. Yeah, I could say you could use the rest of your move and then cunning action hide if you would wish. Um. Technically, you'd be hiding if you went back in that cell and hugged the wall or something. Let me check something real quick. The action on one of these spells I have. Most of them are action in the what spell? bonus. Yeah. Actually, now I think about it, all of them were right next to this guy that you swam right up to. Mm -hmm. You would provoke if you swam away now. Yeah, but no, you can I'm... use your bonus section to disengage and hide next turn. Um, I gave a healing to the prisoner, and he's not dead. Uh, if I leave, I'm going to assume because they're evil, they're all immediately going to take turns stabbing the prisoner and ignore even mm -hmm. even ignore well, Acadian a point of that because they're evil and senseless destruction and death is what they do. They look so. They look gonna, more focused on you guys now more than the prisoner for sure. I'm going to stay there as a means of keeping some uh, pun intended some meaty shields between us and the prisoner. The meatiest of meat shields. I am the meatiest of meat shields in the literal sense, not the actual sense. Actually both. Well, okay. maybe. Um, <laughs> I do seem to take way more damage than everyone else. Uh, go ahead. That's it. My turn's done. Okay. Next. Uh, let me check. Oh, the poor guy doesn't have a weapon. Okay. All right. Um, after Jasol, it's finally their turns. Mm -hmm. So two of them are going to stab at Katie, and one of them's going to stab at Jasol because you are by far the closest and immediate, most immediate threats. They, one of them is stunned. One stabs at Katie, <laughs> and one stabs at the soul. <laughs> um, they do know Sakult's here now, though. It's just, you know, you guys are kind of in their face at the moment. Right. I mean, I'm still right in the cell where we started, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they saw, they, so, they see you as you where we started. go around and cast a spell yeah. at them. Okay. Um... They get three attacks each. So three attacks against Jasol first. 
Um, I'll say one of them has a spear, was within reach of his spear. Um, the one that that was, um, and one of them does not. So, Basol, you're going to get Bite, Claw, Claw. Okay, my Katie's armor class get, is 15 now. Well, yeah. Katie's going to get three spears attacks. So, 21 with the Bite. Okay. Uh, nine with the first claw, okay. and a twenty-one with the other claw. So you take okay. a total of eleven piercing and slashing damage. No, I don't. I actually take a total of eleven loss to my temporary hit points. So now I only I have four temporary I can't hit points. Dodge two. Oh yeah. Uh, do I'll it, take it. Him. Yeah, you can five. do it every round. So. Oh, I can. Yep. Oh, mm -hmm. I thought it was once per combat. You no. keep, you keep forgetting oh, every time. <laughs> Whoa. Um. Yeah. As long as you you can only do it once per turn, though. Mm -hmm. Right. Because you only get one reaction a turn. No, nope, that's yeah. fine. I'll uncanny dodge then. Screw it. I'll take half that. All right. Yeah, that's Five how my rogue in your game was like touched completely during most boss fights, <laughs> untouched. <laughs> and, and because yeah, you know, it was your temporary hit points, not your main hit points. Mm -hmm. You're technically, um. Not at the, no, don't have all your hit points, so they do not have their blood frenzy at the moment. Yep, no blood wow. frenzy for you. I got temporary hit points. Three spear attacks to Katie. Uh, 17. Hits. Uh, 15. Nope. And another 17. So you take a total <laughs> of 14. Oof, that's I still have one temp hit point left. Ah. Okay. Nice. I love this spell so much. That and spell then, is amazing. And then after their turns, the Lokatha feebly attempts to help you. Yay! Bless his heart. Because he's a good fish boy. Um, that's why I wanted to save him. <laughs> he, the one that's stunned, he will take advantage of it being visibly like, <laughs> and he will try to punch it with his fin. Oh, yes! He has advantage. Uh, and he says, <laughs> I will draw you the will of a lot of fire, then. <laughs> I'm taking yes. him home and adopting him. <laughs> I'm 34. That's fine. I'm still doing it. <laughs> Creepy. Uh, What's it called? <laughs> okay, stunned. It's not paralyzed, so it's not a crit if it hits. No. It's just, yeah. it's, it's just advantage. He just hits him. Uh, so he does a whopping two be damage. Great if he killed him. He does a whopping two damage because he's not a monk. Yeah. Punched. It would be great if he killed him. <laughs> I'm absolutely proud of him and his two damage. Katie right? is smiling ear to ear, like, yeah. He gets two attacks. Other <gasps> fin. It's Double with a fin. He did not nat 20, but another two damage. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Oh, oh, um, he's got, um, so Lakatha, you know how cute they look. This one has, a uh, um, like, catfish whiskers, and oh. they're, like, and they're, like, like that, and then they curl around. Oh, so he's got oh, almost, like, Dolly. He's a cutie. And he's very, like, and he does a very pugilist, like, rah, rah. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> oh, yes, I, I need to see 19, I need to see 1920s <laughs> boxer Lakatha, please. That'll be amazing. Mm-hmm. There is a loud crash noise as the jail cell to your right immediately rips open and a sea lion comes out. What? <laughs> Are you world class pugilist Manta Ray Hanley? <laughs> Manta Ray Hanley? <laughs> <laughs> I wish he didn't have a name because then he oh, would have that name. Give him uh, a name. And sea lion is very hungry. Hmm. And you hear like a like a really loud like sniff noise. I don't know. I can't really do that on camera. For it worked. A lion. We heard you. Um, seeing the the um, this is a wisdom check to see if it, who it felt like would be the the easiest prey. The stunned, Not the, the... the stunned guy. And the sea lion he's, he's roars through too. the room. Um, goes straight for him. And as it does, 
the other two in their panic reaction attack against the sea lion. Oh, you're going to oh, piss good. off your soul. They pissed it off. I don't know if it's Borky or not. He's skinnier than Borky is. It could be a, just a sea lion that's intended to be in here. Or they haven't been feeding Borky very well. Well, they most likely weren't feeding him as well as I was. Or at all. <laughs> I was overfeeding him. <laughs> uh, they do damage to him, but it seems to ignore it, as it just seems really hungry, and it immediately pounces on the stunned guy. I wonder if Borky broke the first cell that we just snuck through. Yeah. It gets three attacks. So first we'll do its swimming leap with a 10-foot swimming start. It does a long jump across the water, 25 feet. So it's literally like, like faster than even the cloak of manta ray for just, He's just, for just like a brief a real distance. Lion. He has pounce. Oh, God. Um, we should just get out of here and let him t- kill everyone. Katie just sidesteps like, oh, <laughs> it's all yours. Okay. Gisole's right next to him. He has advantage because there's an ally within five feet. Oh my. So I am an ally to the sea lion. The bite Especially unfortunately does not land somehow. Or no no no, he has advantage. It's stunned, no, it yeah. still doesn't. I'm rolling of course I'm rolling crap. Um did you account for the fact that he's stunned? Yes. Doesn't that reduce his armor or take his stacks nope. away or something? Nope, just, just gives you advantage. Wow, that's dumb. So, so he also loses his feet. turn. Yep. Yeah. That's the most important That's thing. That's the main thing. Can't do oh, anything. Okay. Can't move or nothing. Just goes. However, yeah. one of the claw attacks do land. Mm-hmm. As it starts to rip and tear into this uh, Zuhugan. Heavy metal plays in the background. Done. Yes. Katie. Katie. Me? There is a large size sea lion in the room now. It's a pretty big Excellent. room. Excellent. So, but he's kind of mauling the one you stunned. All right, I think he's good. That that looks <laughs> like a good meal. Uh, I uh, smile at the Lakatha like, yeah, nice job. Um, and then he's I'm just more going, like, ooh, as he sees the sea lion. Uh, I'm going to move up to the next closest, and I'm going to attempt to uh, to stab him with my uh, my short sword. Okay. So let's okay. see. That's what she said. Uh, a 19 to hit with the short sword. Mm-hmm. And I do ooh, uh, ooh, 11 points of piercing damage. Not bad. Um, and then I'm going to stab him again. Mm-hmm. Uh, ooh, uh, 25 to hit. Mm-hmm. And 10 points of piercing damage. Okay. How's, how's he looking? He's looking okay. Hmm. I mean, you've, gonna... you've done a lot of damage to him, but I mean, he's not not new, nowhere near as bad as his, as um, fish food over there. Well, I'm going to spend a key point to do a bonus action flurry of blows with my offhand and punch him twice in the face for not being more bad off because I want him to die. <laughs> okay. All right. Fair so good logic. First... I like it. First punch to the face. Uh, that's only a 10 to hit him in the face. Okay. He was uh, able to block that just in time. That's a nine. Okay, he blocks the last two. As I will say, you like hesitated for that. Uh, last two. He's okay. He's he's beat up, but nowhere near beat up as the other one. He's, not, he's not bloodied. The other one's definitely bloodied now. The stun, the one that was stunned. Got it. No longer stunned since it's the end of your turn, right? That's true. At the end of my turn, he is no longer stunned. All right. Rest of the group. We gotta swim there as fast as we can. We're about a 25% of the way there. I have to ask, which one of them is Robin? <laughs> You're shark. I mean, fair enough. You just need to get him a mask. Philly flippers, oh Batman. God. I don't know. Adorable. They have a lot of sea puns in the 60s one. Mm-hmm. Oh, anyway, yeah, anyway. there's a lot of um, oceanic puns. And then we go to Sakold. So Sakold's going to do a brand new move. <gasps> yeah, I know. It's going to be really weird. It, 
looks like he's goes to drop the trident. But I was just for you to go a brand new move, ice dance. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, that would have been so good. <laughs> Why did I not think of that? I've got to be quicker. Knife ice. Yeah, knife ice. No, no, <laughs> that's the one where I use my dagger. Um, <laughs> so now goes to let go of the trident, but just as as soon as it's out of his hand, catapult. At nice. which one? At the one. You let the sea lion have its meal. I want to attack the the one that Katie was not attacking. May gotcha. as well hit all three of them. It is the least Stop injured him. by far. Right. So catapult is that a no? They need a deck saving throw on that one. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. Got a five. <laughs> that fails, and this one gets a trident to the face. Doing more damage than the trident would normally do. That is 12. Fire in the hole. <laughs> 17. Technically, it's bludgeoning damage, but with it being a spear that, or a trident that I'm launching, would it be piercing or slashing? You go to cast catapult, and you launch your trident at it. And as you do, you notice it doesn't shoot straight. It just, like, spins. It goes, and it hits him. And it does pretty well but you notice there's a clear bend in your trident now. Because it looks like oh. it took some of that damage as well. Oh, shit! Oh, as per the spell. The spell damage. Mm. It damages mm. the object. That makes sense. I did not. Right. What? It you can just cast sense. mending. It says in the spell block, stat block. Ow. You can just cast mending. It's no big deal. Yeah. I have two I tridents have if that. you want another one. I'm not seeing where it's saying it takes any damage. At one point, your soul had 15 tridents. So. The ob- both the target and the object take the damage. Oh. Uh, I have mending. Yeah. I mean, so do I, but... Right. I'll be there in eight deal. years. Um, you're okay. pretty sure if this was any old mundane trident, it would have broke. But you're still not. That's fair. Oh, um, that's magical. Okay. Then, yeah, I guess as soon as it's done its damage, I'll bonus does action your, it back into my hand. Does your trident have any bonus to damage? Um, yes. The trident, if I was actually using it as a weapon, has a plus one, I think. Okay, uh, I'll add additional one magic damage on top of that. Okay, so 18. But then, yeah, bonus action to use its lovely little enchant back in my hand. Okay. It's it's not, like, super bent, but it is a visible, like, like 10 degree bend on it. That, up, that upsets me. I did not realize that because I didn't read it and I don't see it, but okay. That, that would be my turn. Just all. Um, hmm, okay. Nobody is dead, but everyone looks a little messed up. However, Katie is attacking a guy, and that gives me an ally within five feet, so sneak attack. I would allow both the Lokatha and the Sea Lion to also be allies. Awesome. Both so, are within five feet of you as well. In that case, I am going to go ahead and go for the liver, or where I think the liver is, on the guy that Katie's attacking. You fought enough, Sahugan. You you figured out where the liver's at. I bust out my marrow spear, the mm-hmm. cold iron silver one, and I'm going to go for the liver. Okay. What is and my stabby stab is 13? Oh, wait, advantage, right? No. No? No, I don't or think yeah. so. I'm not sure how that no. works. No. You don't have pack tactics, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, God. No. That's pack you, tactics. Keep thinking that with wolves. Yeah, Sorry. no, a sneak attack doesn't grant you advantage. If you have advantage from something else, you get sneak attack. Got it. Or if an ally is okay. within five feet. Right. Yeah. Well, an ally is within five feet. Yes, quite a few. However, okay. that attack. Nope. Nope. Well, that's it. I only get one. Rogue only gets one attack. So Can you do anything else in your turn? Uh, no, because everything requires an action, and that's it. I intentionally built my class with action. Bonus action. action hi. You can bonus action disengage. Yeah. And get back away yeah, you, from him a little bit. You also haven't moved yet. Oh yeah, I didn't you even are, have to move to do that. You are the fastest innately at everybody here. Because you all all are underwater currently. I just look at Jasol and say, "Don't stand next to him if you don't have to." Oh, Jasol, I'll handle it. Jasol, you notice since you 
No, you guys are in the middle of battle. You, the stab didn't really work too well, but you've spent a round or two, at least a few rounds out here. So you would see the other cells. Um, and you have a better view outside here in the middle of combat. Mm -hmm. um, coming up to the cell that was to your left originally, um, from where you guys entered, um, you see a Triton. And he has his hands on, on the bars, and he's like looking at you guys. Um, uh, what action is that spell? What spell? Mage hand. Uh, for you, it's a bonus action, I think. Or no, I think it might be an action to cast a bonus action to, to, to maneuver it. It was already cast, so it should just be a bonus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you, you, you just did use already it. It lasts it. several minutes. All right, okay. Yeah. In, In that case, least. I'm going to use the bonus action to mage hand the bar off his cell. Okay. Uh, since you're not being quiet, you just do it. Um, yeah, I turn, I turn around and I kind of smile at him and go boop with my hand and just kind of like flick and the mage hand just flicks it, just pulls it off. All right, boss Nass Jedi. Eh. Um, He's skinnier than I am. Damn. I, prison break. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just all 352 pounds. I'm pretty sure I'm, okay, I'm yeah. much bigger than boss Nass. <laughs> so it still it still requires an action to cast, but you can move the hand as your as a part of your cunning action. Cool. In that case, that's what I do. All right. Um, the Sahugan immediately all attack. Actually, no. Wait. Hmm. Mm. Who's the biggest threat to them currently? I mean, Katie's just annihilating them. Yeah, but there's also Sea Lion. Yeah, but there's no way the two of them can kill that Sea Lion. There's three still. Oh, right. <laughs> well, the one of them is going to be dying in a minute, so there's no way the two of them can kill that Sea two Lion. Two of them attack the Sea Lion with all their attacks, and one of them attacks Katie. Makes Katie's sense. still at temporary hit points. I think at one temporary hit point, right? I have one left. I, right. I have, I think... More than that now, but I had to, I have ten now instead of one. I was gonna have one. A sixteen. It just hits me. Okay. Can you tell which one's the big dice? Uh, that one misses. And a nat twenty. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. So you take seven piercing from the first one, and then I roll a d. Uh, by temporary hit points. Since you took damage from the first one, that knocked you under your full health. Yeah, it does. The second attack still misses at advantage. And now I'm going to use in the crit chart from this Woo! lovely DM skill product, which I think is like Electrum selling or something. It's like one of the mm -hmm. one of the top. It's badass. That's it's awesome. Uh, crit chart. All right, forty-three. Um. So almost how many hit points I'd have right now. You take an additional 14 piercing damage from that that crit one. Mm -hmm. um, and there is a loud ringing in your ears as you are deafened. What? Keep getting the deafened one. It's borderline what? useless. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, so that was that's a Hugin's turn. The other two attack the sea lion with all mm -hmm. three of their attacks each. One... Uh, Tooth and claw, as mm. it is just ferocious. Almost, they're more like animal. They seem more like animals at this point. As sea lion is ripping and tearing at one, and the two of them are ripping and tearing back. Teeth and claws. Just going um, ooh. Bite hits. Claw hits. Claw hits. Bite hits. Claw hits. Claw hits. So all of their attacks slash and bite at the sea lion. And the sea lion's starting to bleed a lot and it roars in pain. Uh, let's see, how much damage are they doing? Mm. And quite a bit, actually. Oh boy. All right. Um, sea lion's not looking so hot. Uh, as it is the sea lion's turn and it, it does not care. Um, it continues biting down on the one, the weakest one. 
Uh, it, the bite works. Claw. Claw hits. And claw. All right. So, um, the sea lion bites into the jugular of the Zahugan that it's, it's uh, currently pounced on. And it's two giant mitts uh, grab onto its back, and it scrapes its back. And it starts bleeding. And it keeps it in its mouth. And it, like, thrashes it a little bit as it also tries to swim away. And as it does, it provokes attacks of opportunity. Hit. And not a hit. So, the Hugan tried to take advantage of uh, its quick retreat. As it goes to push past all of you, um, so cold, I'm going to need a deck save. Okay. As a, a bleeding sea lion carrying a Sahugan corpse is swimming right at you. Ah! <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> 19. All right. Um, I would say you are able to just barely get yourself out of the way in time so it doesn't like push you into the wall or something. And the sea lion goes to leave out the way you guys came. Blood trail in the water. That's as it's leaving. Okay. It looks really hurt at this point. Um, oh, it's got a meal. Did we, we identify it. it as Borky, though? Not yet. No, we didn't yet. Kind of in the middle of a battle. And it was, and if it is, I mean, it, just so it could be. You haven't seen he him in quite there, a while. So, right. And this, you've never seen him this skinny before, so you're not sure. He went, he went missing when the ship was attacked, so who knows? Yeah, that was a while, quite a while ago. Mm hmm. Because he was in the hull of the ship. Okay, I thought. I was like. Actually, no, he grabs the spear of the one that died. Now he has a weapon. Yeah. Stabby stab. Ha ha. Now he's no longer a famous pugilist. Now he's a stabist. I am proficient in spear. You can play my race. It's available in the DMs Guild. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, he does some damage. Pokes with the spear. I was saying he attacks the one that's the least damaged. Is he still chained to the table while he's doing this? Uh, no. Okay, cool. I was like, man, this dude's a boss. He's still chained to a table stabbing people. <laughs> no, he's not the Doom Slayer. He doesn't just go... <laughs> <laughs> pull, his, pull off the <laughs> manticles. Um, Katie, your turn. There are two left. Two left. How bad off is the one? Um, the one that you were fighting is the most injured currently. Good, good, good. There so... is a floating arm of the one that the the sea lion. Mm, almost. Ran. Can I use it as a monk weapon? You're not drunken, master. I, I, I can't. Okay, <laughs> that's fair. I'm just asking. I, you know, it's kind of you know poignant, but uh, I stab him with my short sword again. So first attack with the short sword is a dirty twenty. No, a twenty-one. Okay. Twenty twenty-one, which does uh, eight points of piercing damage. Wow. Okay. Still up. Yep. Stab him again with a short sword. Uh, natural 20. Hey. Yeah. Roll me that Sweet. chart. All right. Um, I rolled a 34 on the chart. Oh, yeah. You can't hear anything right now either. Nope. Not a thing. I'm just stabbing. Okay. I noticed a typo on their chart. They have 34 as two different things. Mm. So both happen? <laughs> That would be awesome. I mean, why not? It's technically in the book. Okay, how much damage you do? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. I do. Dicing. Oh. Uh, 16 points of piercing damage. Okay, okay. Um, you punch him in the gut, and as you do, um, he like spits up a bit of blood. 
it, like the anime like undercut punch and, like, <laughs> and a bit of blood. No matter where they hit, they always spit up blood. Hit in the shin, spit up blood. Is he so, dead yet? No, but he looks close. Mm. Uh, if he had a random item on him, he would have dropped it. Mm. But he currently does not. Can he lose a few teeth? No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's up to you. Let's go back. I'm going to spend a key point and I'm going to flurry of blows because I see that he's sort of close to dying and I want to finish the job. And get those to be the sweet, nice sweet one. temporary hit points. Oh, and someone did die. Nice does not mean not year. capable of murder. Yeah, but I have to be the one that makes them right, right down okay. below zero. That That's something I need to do. Okay. All right, so first punch, first flurry. Oh, that is uh, 23 to hit. That definitely hits. And that's going to be nine, nine points of bludgeoning damage. All right, that kills him. Also, you punched him to the side of the head, and there was a, like a crack noise, and his neck just broke. I, uh, oh. as he starts to sort of flop in the water, I like grab hold, and you see that, and I absorb that life essence. Nine temporary hit points. Thank you. Um, I have one extra punch, and I have movement. You're right next. They're, they were like all next to each other. So you all right. Can... So I punch him, suck that in, let go, and just offhand try to punch the other guy in the side of the head. Ooh, a twenty-two to hit. Nice. Yeah, that definitely hits. Uh, eight. No, that's is that's a punch. This is three plus four, seven points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Crack. Goes the weasel. Wait, what? <laughs> Um, all right, nice. Meanwhile, we're almost halfway there. Wait, is that sea lion? It's cold. Good lord. We're going to make this whole fucking fight. So it just the one like left. <laughs> there is one left. He is in, He is quite injured, but not bloodied. Hmm. For that, I mean, he looks like he couldn't take the same amount of damage he already has. Okay, he's under half. Okay. You're pretty sure these are champion ranked Sahugan. They don't look like champions in Katie's book. <laughs> Some of the guys that were the leaders of the, the groups of Sahugan from earlier. Mm, okay. Okay. Okay, so let's do this. Instead of screwing up my trident even more, how about I pick up a loose pebble from the ground? You don't even need to pick it up. Just an object within range of the spell. Shit, man. That's even awesome. Even better. It's like even a, better. It's like telekinesis in a way. Even better. You know those brass poles that have been locking the doors? Oh, brass oh, bar? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so... I will take the brass bar and catapult that son of a bitch right at that last one. Making a weird noise underwater, I guess. Got 10, so it fails the deck save. <laughs> it fails indeed. And I don't care about this piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Another 17 points. Nice. But it doesn't tarnish underwater. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sweet. Is that your turn? <laughs> Other than the fact that Sakal is laughing at the the irony behind using the same brass board, the, bra the, the bronze, 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 whatever. I insert funny pun here. I'm shutting up now. You're fine. I I'll, I'll it. No, that's turned too hard. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Um, after Sakal is Jasol. Oh, then there was uh, one. And then he took a one. he took a bar a bronze bar to the chest. Looks pretty well, hurt now. That doesn't sound like a very good day for him. Unfortunately, I can't have him living and telling his friends. Fifteen to hit. Fifteen. Mm -hmm. He uses the bronze bar to block your attack outside. Oh, what a dick! Just to make it more thematic. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not even pissed. I'm impressed on that one. Yeah. Okay. I'm still pissed. All right, that's my turn. All right. Um. He 
disengages and swims into the tunnel. Uh, can I attack him anyway? Nope, because disengage. Unless you're a sentinel. I think sentinel can still attack, right? No, sentinel's not. It can, but he's not. I don't think I'm you are one. Rogue. Right. I'm a rogue. I'm a rogue warrior. We all me. Um, <laughs> the load, uh, let's see. How far would he get? He gets to the what appears to be like a uh, cross section. He gets 20 feet into the hallway. Somebody kill him. Katie, teleport over there and bust his chops. How can, far is that? You can hear uh, from your angle, he's kind of undercover. I don't know if you have Spell Sniper or not. I do. Okay. Uh, That's he's my boy. barely visible about 40 feet away. Um, okay. But it is not your turn yet. I'm aware. I was just asking. The Lokatha uh, swims over to Gasol and holds out a fin. Oh. Jolly good fighting. <laughs> you as well. Oh, my fin. Still sore. Jolly good. Uh, and that's the Lukatha's turn. All right. Katie, your turn. Um, I also mentioned to him the way out. Kind of, hey, go back that mm -hmm. way, and that's how you escape. Oh, um, since that's in view of everybody outside, Abby and Axel, um, you see a, you see a sea lion, and um, it appears to have a sahugan in its mouth, and it looks very injured. Just this blood coming off of it and the Suhugan. It sees you two and just seems to snarl and it swims further down and tries to swim away from you. Yeah, okay. That's what you see. Oh, on, that's what that's what you see on its turn. You know what? I'll roll intimidation. Okay, it's not that intimidating to you guys. It looks pretty hurt. You got a three. No. Oh. <laughs> it oh, mews right. and goes further down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it just sounds like Garfield. Um, um, I, 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 as it as it passes by, um, I'm gonna like have, uh, I'm gonna have Corey like swim over to him, and like wave wave his little tentacles in the air, and I'm gonna try and boop him on the snoot with a cure wounds, scanning through my crap. Okay, right now he's still too far away. You just was he oh, was like, okay. you you could see him, but. You guys are still like a hundred feet away. That's from That's an easy wall. way for Corey to end up lunch, my man. <laughs> I can also like banish him to like his little pocket dimension just as easily. So. Yeah. Also, the sea lion already has a meal. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a he's got his mouth full right now. Um. You bit off more than that's you. And that's when it goes back to Katie. Okay. How far away from me is the is the escaping Sahugan? Well, since you were up next to him, you're only about thirty feet away. Oh well, thirty feet. <laughs> As you Just... swim forward and get into that cross section, mm -hmm. you can see further ahead, about thirty feet further, it seems to mm -hmm. lead into this immensely big room. Oh, you can shit. hear what oh, sounds yeah. like combat going on in there, but mm, you also hear okay, but cool. you also hear cheering. In Suhuga. Oh, it's a gladiatorial arena. Okay. Like, like some like chaka da chaka da chaka doo 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 chaka da chaka da chaka. You know, like they're like war chanting and stuff. It's like all just bouncing his staff to the beat. <laughs> okay. Uh, I swim up. You know, same stuff like that. I swim up and I'm going to stab him twice and see if I can stop him from getting away. Okay. First stab, a 13 to hit him. Thirteen. I'll say he grabs your wrist as you go to stab. You know, like the that. sign grabs it. And... Pull it free. Try to stab him again. Oh, nine to stab him. Uh, he no. he twists the other way. I'm gonna when he twists. I'm gonna come up with a. I'm gonna spend a key point. Flurry of blows. This is gonna be me trying to spin around and kick him with my foot. Okay. Uh, that's going to be an 18 to kick him. You get it, you you kick him and it comes down right on his collarbone. Or Ooh, where like he it. would have a collarbone. I like it. Alright, that's going to be... So who can don't have collarbones? They're weird. 
Uh, Jack shot him back into the corner, Titus. Eight points of d- bludgeoning damage. Oof. How's he looking? Really, really hurt. All right, with my last flurry, I'm going to... Uh, now that I kicked him, I'm going to come around with an elbow and try and elbow him in the side of the head. Maybe. Um, 14 to hit. 14? He yes. just barely moves his head back because your elbow goes... Ooh, like it. Um, that was action, move, bonus action. Don't worry. It's my turn. Okay. Um, Abby, you saw the sea lion and stuff. What are you doing? Um, zoom in. Do you zoom towards the sea lion or do you zoom towards the hole the sea lion came out of? The hole the sea lion came out of. Okay. And I assume Axel's the same? Or are you going to go after the sea lion? Do I I still see the shark? Yeah. Yeah, the shark's staying with you. Yeah. Okay, yeah, then I'm I'm heading the direction the shark is. If he's not following the seed line, then I'm not following it. His eyes, his pupils, like, dilate, and so he, like, sees the blood, and he goes to follow it, but then he just continues going with you. Good boy, Bruce. Yeah. Uh, do I hear my friends and the sounds of combat? Not yet. Okay. Then I use my full action to go 120 feet. In the next turn, you guys will be there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right when the combat's over. Yeah, the enemy might not, but you'll be there. That's that's with a dash. Okay. Um, so uh, after you guys, it is Sukal's turn. Okay. So you thirty feet, yeah. Forty, and vis- you're still visible. I'm fighting Katie. Eh, forty is still within range, because I'm gonna pull a Yamcha and use a lantern lure. How far does that go? 60 feet. Oh, yeah. I increased the range. That's right. Sweet. So um, I need a strength saving throw. Okay. This is a, a Zebediah classic. Unfortunately, the Sahugan is like, screw your old grandpa because it got a 19 on the strength. Uh, wow. Uh, so, Katie, you've never seen this before. Um, a tiny oh, little, God. a tiny little yellow orb appears, almost like like an angular fish thing. Just like, and it like went to attach itself to the Sahugan, and you notice it like did stay for a moment, but the Sahugan like pulls himself off in a panic. It's. Sl- I look at it confused. It's almost, it's almost calming and alluring, but you're smarter than that. Mm, okay, you're, you're not a, you're not a fish. An angular fish would be easy. <laughs> Hmm, pretty. Wait, I'm going to kick your ass first. <laughs> and that's the cold stream. Um, okay, thankfully this is a concentration, so I can still try this again my next turn. Mm-hmm. You are doing the gumption. You're, like, moving the ball yeah. around. So, <laughs> holy crap, it's actually working the way I had read it. Uh, yeah, that's my turn. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a spell of mine that actually reads right. Um... <laughs> no, me actually reading a spell right. <laughs> ah. I'll still count that as a plus on my end. Uh, <laughs> just so... Um, You're within gonna, move. Definitely with your 40 swim. I'm going to try and throw it at him. Throw what? No, no, because it's the throws. Lakata that you're handshaking? Never mind. <laughs> no, I'm not going to throw the ally Lakata. With another race. He's, Wait, he's cute. I'm not throwing him. <laughs> I'm going to just swim up and stab him then. You have an ally within five feet. Yeah, I'm going to swim up and stab him. Okay. That way I get my sneak attack. Um, I hope 17 hits him. 17 just hits. 15 didn't, so I'm hoping to God 17 did. Just um, a 17 just hits? Jesus. Oof. The scary thing is, they don't have armor on. Yeah, They're natural naked. armor, man. They're completely naked. Um, <laughs> but thankfully, they're fish people, so it's not disgusting. Um, I mean, it's still kind of disgusting. It might be to you, because <laughs> you're used to wearing clothes. He's not. <laughs> what makes you think I'm... Never mind. <laughs> uh, in fact, he does have some clothes, but they're more decorative. Like, you know, shark teeth and such. Oh, like a band around the arm or a necklace, just not... Um, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, that wasn't very good sneak attack damage. He takes 20. 20? Damage. How do you end him? 
Yeah. I am going to, uh, I'm going to take a, a little bit of a note from Far Cry Primal here, as I've been playing that a lot lately. And nice. I just push the, sheer, the spear straight through his chest all the way out the other side. Okay. Katie, that's the first thing you see of Jasol. Is the weapon going through through him. And then Jasol from Jesus, behind. Have you not seen Jasol this whole fight? No, no, I mean, like, in this current... <laughs> location uh, right yeah, like you know she at. was she like she panicked right up and i just popped up and i was like crap he might actually get away me. i'm always very impressed by how jasol is so much more fluid and and talented in movement underwater like katie's always just like yeah like that's that is awesome <laughs> i have a question for you katie Yo. do you go after the lantern lure I mean, I'm watching that baby. Like, ooh, that's pretty. Do you grab it? I <laughs> mean, if everybody's Wee! dead, I might. We're yes. out of we're out of initiative as this point. <laughs> as suddenly Axel and Abby appear on the scene. I grab the ah. lantern lure. <laughs> so, strength. Change. As you grab the my little lantern lure, you are then reeled in ten feet at a time with a condescending look from Destol as you end up right in front of him. That's what happens if you fail a strength save in front of Sakal. God damn it. I, did, I pulled the Scotty. So as Axel and Abby show up, you've caught a you've caught a Katie. I caught a Katie. Yes. Katie's like, oh, oh, we missed it. <laughs> Are you done Anybody with look hurt? Oh, um, did somebody lose his sea lion? No, we let it out the cage. Oh, I thought it went that way. Was that your I guy? If, I don't know. I've never seen him that skinny before. I'm not oh. sure. Well, he's definitely eating well. Um, are any of you now. guys like hurting? The you little cat. The little cat that puts a Oh boy! Up. Hi. How are you? You look like you're messed up. Hi. Right, yes. Katie um, stands behind oh, him geez. with like four stab wounds in her, and she's like, "Yeah, you know." Yeah. <laughs> Remember, this little cat that's missing like half his scales. Yeah, he looks worse. Holy. Are they like all littered on the floor and things? They're floating it around. Yeah. It yeah, okay. Could be so like, like if put I get him, put him so on like him. snap back on him. I was gonna say, can we put him back oh. on him and then heal him and see if they heal in place? How how hurt is Katie? Um or does the heal spell grow new ones? I'll tell you what it happens. The heal spell would okay. do it. If people have potions, why are we wasting spell slots here? You know, I, uh, my I spell lost slots about, are more efficient. Yeah, lost about her, twenty one hit her points. Spell slots Holy are way fuck more nuggets. Efficient. I'm gonna spend one on Mr. Lokath, a first level. Sp oh, but nuggets. The, well, he gained seven. The name is Borgus. Borgus. As he pats a fin on your shoulder. Well, you are pretty Borgus. fast. You are pretty fast for a tin can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a cool cloak. Uh, and then I'm gonna spend a second level spell slot on Katie, um, and hope that my dice roll better than a fucking one. They probably won't. I better just shut up. I'm sorry. I'm going to mute. <clears throat> okay, one of them, they did roll better. I got a two and a six. So that is, hang on, math. What's eight plus seven? Fifteen. 15. You gained fifteen. I like it. Thank you. And that's why I use spell slots, because they're going to heal a lot more than a potion will. Potions are last resort. Oh, you I just poke at the edges of the wound that was a critical hit. Like, Don't smack it. Don't poke it. A little sore, it's fine. You, you all saved my whiskers there. What are you doing here, Mr. Orgus? Oh, oh yeah, uh, I was going to say, because you healed him. Some of the scales start to grow back. Oh, okay, Because yeah. fish, fish shed scales all the time. Just... Right, right. Yeah, I was worried they wouldn't, but okay. Um, well, me and Blub Blub, we're out, we're out fishing. And then I got Blub Blub, the skinny guy? The little skinny sea lion thing? No. Mm. My pet sea eel. <gasps> Blub Blub. And he goes to swim into the room you guys came into. How long does that um, eel oh, look like it's been dead? Eel. Uh, medicine check. Mm. Uh, I'm not proficient in that. I'm roll. Uh, wisdom know. check, so 19. <laughs> Which is oh, what I wrote. Nice. Dirty 20. Mm. 
Looks like it's been dead not even 24 hours. Ah, can't but really identify it. you can tell that all of his injuries are of bludgeon. Um, and you assume that they were self-inflicted. Is it, this is, cell is very cramped for this very long, large size sea eel. Uh, yeah. And it seemed to be in a panic. Um, and it hastened its own death by battering against the walls and the door. Well, mm. that's depressing. Well, I'm sorry about that. I do know what it's like to lose a pet. I'm not sure if that sea lion was my pet or not. It definitely look, doesn't look as fat as my sea lion normally would be. <laughs> but I lost him as well when the Sahagan came into the area. So I am aware of your pain. Look, we work with the people of the city over there. If you have nowhere else to go, we perhaps have a place we could give you to stay if you need a place to stay for a while. Oh, it is greatly appreciated. Um, your name is? Ah, um, perhaps that would be better in order. My name is Jasol Lenar. I am a merchant that deals with the surfaces and trades with their goods in the city. Wow. Is fishing your trade? Well, I just live in my hut. Hmm. Are you particularly good at fishing? Particularly. Perhaps I could help you peddle some of your catch in the city. I have no need for scales. Well, besides the ones on me. <laughs> <laughs> you do notice that the scales that are on the ground, I would say this is more Abby, comes as a surprise. These scales are tough. Like, they're almost like they're stone. The rest of you know Lokatha are known for their tough scales. Ah, okay. Hmm. That makes it even worse if they pulled them off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they use their claws. they like, underneath. Uh, yeah. I'm glad we killed them. Yeah. Well, we're not out of the woods yet. Well, we're not out of the kelp. There is, yeah. an, uh, <laughs> there is an army that is going to be attacking this facility. I do suggest, friend, that Yeah, you, you might want to get out. Oh, get out. They killed Blub Blub. I must get vengeance. As he put spears like. Oh my god, I love him. <laughs> oh, I you shall what? join you when this He's matter. gonna die. I'll tell you He's what. doomed. Stay in the back and try not to rush in, and we'll give you the injured ones to finish off. Deal? Not as honorable, but fine. All right. Can he, I ask him, can you fight with a trident? Can I fight with a trident? We are underwater. Of course, I can fight with a trident. Everything is really, with trident. Really though. hoping he would go. Can I fight with a trident? No, no, I can't. <laughs> I am going to reach in my bag, my bag of holding, mm -hmm. and I draw out the the trident of fish command. Oh, there's another one right there. And he like gets the spear ready, and he's aiming at it. It's a gold. No, 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 no. As no, Bruce, no, no. as Bruce comes in, and Bruce is next to gold now. Uh, That's our ally. No, no, he's a friend. He's a friend. Hmm. Believe it or not, not all of them are monsters. He he wanted to come in here and save you as soon as we saw you in trouble. Side eye sickled. Keeps my mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then thank you, friend. I rolled insight. Yep. <laughs> it's like assuming oh. he failed. <laughs> Does this guy look like he has any other really particularly useful skills? Other uh, than, obviously, fishing and making friends with colossal eels? I mean, that's a pretty badass uh, I, skill. That's a really uh, badass skill. Help. I'm not going like, to lie. Need anything else? He, he might not be as much help, but I'm glad to know that my people are going to join you as the Triton leaves the cage that he was Ooh. in. Cause you, um, the Triton? Yeah, I hope I freed the Triton from this cage. Oh, okay. I uh, offer him a Trident and say, you're welcome to join us if you wish as well. Otherwise, I don't blame you for trying to escape. Either way, you should have a weapon. It is the least I can do. And I see that you have a shark under your sway as well. Uh, so called, you did notice he tried to communicate with your shark. But your shark was like, so called, friend. Because <laughs> it's charmed by him. Just gently pat Bruce on the top of the head. Friend. 
Very concerning if I ever hear the term food kind of telepathically <laughs> in my head. Food. Food. Great. Ah, great. And, and Bruce like swims over to one of the scales and gnaws on a little bit. Not food. And I think we'll end there for now. Oh. Because it's getting late. It is 9 30. <laughs> We are like nice. 30 minutes over. <laughs> okay, I want to go ahead and apologize to both Abby, er, uh, Kat, and Jesse because of our whole stealth operation. You guys didn't see jack shit this, this fucking episode. It happens. It happens. It happens. Uh, Don't split the party. So, uh, as we ended for tonight, we'll Should you just let them invisible. It would have been funnier to watch the sock and go, does anyone hear pots and pans? Anyway. That's their nicknames now, pots and pans. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, my spiritual weapon is a frying pan. I know. <laughs> oh, pardon me. The name is Kish. Abby right. Sweetwater. So um, let me get I, their names uh, once more so I can add them to the uh, NPCs list I have here. Uh, I believe it was Borgus and Kish. Borgus and Kish, K-I-S-H. K Y S H. K Y S H. Ooh. So Kaish, I guess. Kaish. Kaish. Kush. Kaish sounds better. Definitely not Kush. He's not a high elf. Triton. Might be a high C elf. You don't know. <laughs> I want to say Triton guy. Katie Triton mispronouncing guy. it. Pr- mispronounces it and calls him Kish. Uh, and Borgas was a what's his? He was a what? A Lokatha. L O C A H A T. H, I think. I might have, I might have misplaced the T, I think. I say to Burgess, by the way, when this is all done, I do need that back. And I point at the trident. Oh, that's fine. I can I can make my own later. Thank you. Oh, oh I'm mending on the staff. Uh, I'm mending like on my trident. 25 of them. Shh. Special. Sorry. Okay. Oh. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone have any plugs? I think we'll start with Katie. <laughs> oh, that's me. Hi. Um, hi, I'm Jeanette. You can find me on Twitter. My uh, info is down in the information below. Uh, or you can find me on my channel, Uncanny Underscore Adventures, tomorrow at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. We're planning to play some Skull and Shackles as a D&D 5e adventure. So we do that. And every other Monday and Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time, we alternate weeks playing Call of Cthulhu uh, Old West Adventures. So you can always check over in the schedule and join us over there. Otherwise, um, hey, it's my birthday. Happy birthday. Hey, Happy birthday. Yay. Yay. I'm older. Yay. No. All right. That's my boys. <laughs> you have completed an additional revolution around the sun. Congratulations. Wee. How about you? you up. Why don't we? How about you, Mrs. Sweetwater? Do you have any oh boy, points? that's me. Um, so uh, tomorrow is water deep, but I'm gonna let Jesse talk about that if uh, he remembers what the hell we were doing. Um, we were chasing down a uh, a mind flayer spaceship on the way on the way to the Icosa Hedron planet, and we're we went reverse. and we met a bunch of philosopher trogs. Oh, that's right. We did do that. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but uh, so my stuff next Friday is vaccine game where they're going to do some sports ball and maybe fight some side lights um, in the same episode. It's, yeah, it's that kind of episode. Let's um, get ready for sports ball. Um, please tell me you're naming. I... Huh? I'm sorry, I have to ask. Please tell me you're naming that episode Space Jam. Unfortunately, there's no like space, but yes, also those copyright. puns get made. Nah, it's whatever. Time. Um, follow me on Twitter. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks, you'll see something being released by me and some other folks on DM Skill. Yay. Yeah, that's my stuff. And how about you, tall fellow? I think you would buy <laughs> so cold. Oh, you meant me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Looks over at the others. Um, I guess the one thing that I do actually have to plug is our Descent into Avernus games every Wednesday on Scotty's channel. Um, This last one, however, was a very, very depressing episode. Um, The hell is soul crushing? 
it doesn't need to be that soul crushing cheese anyways <laughs> um if you ever wanted to see or imagine seeing a pissed off celestial kobold and yes you heard that right that would be one of the episodes to tune into that's the only thing i can think of to plug oh my pardon my manners there was another tall one here how about you you tall pink guy oh um <laughs> well as it happens we've already covered both of the other games that i'm in thanks cat so water deep retroverse yay oh good good that's tomorrow at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, I heard a right verse, and my brain was like, 7.30. Nope, that's not right. 9.30. Nope, still not it. <laughs> and how about my new fishy friend, Jussel? <laughs> <laughs> Tune in, because after the Trackless Sea campaign ends, we go into space and travel through a dark matter campaign set mostly in space uh, in my take on the verse. So things will be a bit different and probably a little more horror related um, as one should probably expect if I'm the DM. Are you? Uh, and uh, that will be after Trackless Sea comes to a close. So probably June at this rate, way we're going with Trackless Sea before we officially start, I would guess June-ish. Are you saying that darkness matters? <laughs> I would oh. say that it most certainly mm. does. Yeah, har, har. Great. I get to go through another hellish campaign. Lovely. <laughs> oh, it won't be hellish. It'll, it'll be worse. It'll be spacious. <laughs> more like it'll be very spacious, though. You're right. All right. Well, if that's everybody, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on the amazing adventures of Boris and friends. <laughs> <laughs> Happy floundering, y'all. Bye.